right. This part. Mm hmm. Yeah, like I watched the effing like anime YouTuber like chess tournament dark. So it's like it's effing like Giguk and like Mother's Basement and stuff. Ah, uh, those guys. Yeah, like Sea Dog is. I thought you meant like VTubers. Yeah. Oh, that'd be interesting. <laughs> the VTuber chess tournament dark. Who will win? Will it be Hatsune Miku? Or someone else I don't know? Yeah, clearly. Hatsune Miku's not a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like, yeah. Yep, whoa. Yeah, I feel like I've learned more about chess than I, like, ever knew before. <laughs> and I, like, don't have played the game, so it's like, okay, yeah. The, uh, that video that Mother Basement posted about JoJo. Oh, yeah, I didn't watch it, but I, like, saw people posting it and yeah. being like, this is shit. Yeah, I, I didn't watch it. I also didn't watch it, but yeah, people were posting it in a Discord server I'm in, and it's like, oh my god, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Like... If I remember, it's like, you know, what people are saying is like, oh yeah, he's basically like, oh yeah, just start with part three, and then, like, go backwards. I think it actually says to start at part four. Oh god. Because it, it's like, he's like, it introduces stands, and I, I can't remember what the chart actually said, but it's a whole lot of stupid. <laughs> if I'm gonna be completely blunt. His watch order sucks. Oh man. Just watch it in order. Yeah, like there's a point where I was like, I was planning to introduce someone to JoJo's, and I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I should start through a part four because like that's where things actually start getting really crazy and stuff. And I like start it up. It's like, oh yeah, like the first like half of episode one. Is just a bunch of like exposition about like relationships that anyone new to the franchise would have like just no interest in at all. Not to mention, if you start at part four, you're just like Dio. Dio should be the first thing you encounter in the JoJo. He's like the most. He, yeah. He's like the most important and reoccurring character in the series. <laughs> Like, if you start part four, that's like the first thing you really learn about Jotaro is that he can stop time. <laughs> yeah, and, and then all the, I mean, like, you probably know through, like, news or whatever uh, already. But if, if you don't, then it's like, oh, well, that's the mystery. Uh, it's like, oh, well, Jotaro's gonna get time stop powers eventually. And this is how he does the thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, even if you know the memes, you don't know that bit, I'd imagine. <laughs> yeah. I, I was I was watching through, uh, when I watched through part three, and there's all this build-up, and it's like, what's the power? What could it be? And it's just like, it's time stop. I've known it's time stop for years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, Mega Triceramon's not here, so I'm just gonna switch Triceramon out of the party. That's fine. Uh, Noth dude. Nothing against Triceramon is pretty good. It's just, you know. Yeah, like, I want my gun rabbits. <laughs> uh, do I need your cam up for anything? Uh, who's? Wait. Alright, how do I, like, uh,. You can just go to organize and hit triangle on him. I think it's triangle. Okay, yeah, there is. Alright, so I need it to be at 100%, so I still need to use XB Mon. Yeah, he needs to be at 100 to get the uh, Pyildramon. Okay, there's a reason to do this then. Or Dino B Mon, whoever you're going for. Yeah. I Man, it feels so weird that it's like the plot hasn't really started yet. Things are gonna pop off. Yeah. Like, very soon. But it's like, yeah, we're at this point in, like, normal mode, and we already have, like, ultimates. Oh, yeah, that just happens. I had, like, I had Megas by this time, I think. Because I'm crazy. Yeah, it looks like you've gone early enough. Now send me the invitation URL. Oh, you can't send it? There's a block on it? 
stupid old Kamashiro database. Is it stupid or, in, in, like, smart that they're locking you out? <laughs> yeah, pretty smart, actually. Tracked up, break through security so we can contact Kyoko. Hey, hang in there. No need to be nervous or something like this. Talk to you later. <laughs> Alright, time to press on. I need to stream this. <laughs> Welcome back to the Avalon server. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we like evolve anything, can we? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. What I'm, do we need? I'm our... almost certain we would have checked before we came here. Uh, what are the requirements we do need for this, though? Like, I'm just curious. Uh, what was 55. Going? Okay, yeah. Was we just going for Crestmon's Canon Evolution? Yep. Okay. All right, 55, 50, and like, uh. Well, I guess depending on our 55. Okay, so yeah, 55, 50, 55. Done. I'm not wasting any time. We should add Hackmon to the party. Yeah, we probably should. Hackmon's cool, man. I like Hackmon, design-wise. Hack Jeez. I don't think I, like, actually mentioned it during, like, our try talks <laughs> But I was just sitting there, it's like, oh, I hate, like, that Hackmon's talking all, like, evenly because Bounce and homeostasis. <laughs> That's literally why he talks like that. Wait, what? Because in the sub, he's like, you know, he talks in, like, very kind of, like, even sounds. Like, monotone? Yeah, very monotone. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess they might have been going for a motion this thing. It's like, oh, that's so dumb, though. I don't care for it. Yeah. These guys can really take a hit. I guess their party's pretty low level, huh? Like, yeah. Like, they're ultimates, but their levels are low. As to be fair, these are like bulky machine types. Yeah. Yeah, I think Angemon is a defensive type. Yeah. Angemon and High Angemon. Heck, I think Metal Mummymon might be also. I'd be surprised if Metal Mummymon had low defense. Like, he's such a bulky design. I don't think, like, Fire Beats, like, Weapon or whatever does it. I don't believe it would. Wait, what? Like, in the elemental triangle. Uh, oh, you're th you're thinking in terms of, like... Yeah, like, metal and, like, yeah. Yeah, that's not an element in this one. Oh, okay, so I guess they're, like, earth? Fire, uh... Fire, water, nature is one tree. And then wind, earth, lightning is another. Sure. Okay, yeah. Wind, lightning... I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how the triangle works out so that they're adjacent to each other and we whatever. It's those three. Okay, I'm so sure wind beats or earth beats lightning. Lightning beats wind. So I'd imagine these guys might be lightning. So maybe if you use earth, it'll be a bit stronger. Oh, and then there's light and dark. Which can't do each other. Okay, it seemed like he was good against earth for some okay. reason. Okay. There's dizzying chords. You need to keep bugging you until you quit. Is he standing on the Final Fantasy Sun remake box? <laughs> Trying to eat Final Fantasy is a good idea, man. Especially since it's my like big fancy collector's edition box. <laughs> you can't consume Final Fantasy. You're gonna in here. Yeah. I can't remember what all came with it. Yeah, probably like an art book or something. Yeah. Came with the metal case. I that's something that I can't believe I haven't finished. Yeah. I was so excited for Seven Remake and I haven't even gotten to uh uh yeah. Oh god, I forgot what slums they are, but the ones at the honeybeam. Yeah, oh man, I saw the high BN cutscene. I haven't? I, I've seen bits and pieces, but I haven't watched, like, the whole thing, so I don't want to be totally yeah. spoiled on it. I know that, like, apparently it involves a big dance number. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a big dance number, and it's, like, super strong. It's like, I watched it, and the entire time it's like, okay, yeah, they know. 
<laughs> they know this crap is meant to be just ridiculous. They, they, they did what they could without... Like, they went full camp without recreating the original scene. Yeah, which, you know, I give them crap for, honestly. <laughs> <coughs> Crap, that was not muted. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't tell you how many times I cough into my microphone. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just cough all the time. Like, earlier I just really... Oh, hey, we have Son in the chat. Oh, so we do. <laughs> they must have just posted, because all I saw before was the your live. Yeah, I was glanced over as I was just like, yeah. Because he's like, just cough all the time, and I quickly realized, oh yeah, this probably sounds terrible for people. Yeah. I should try to avoid this. Yeah. By the way, it's Cookie. He says, oh, Lovely. awesome. Lovely. Now my mic has COVID. He wouldn't, <laughs> yeah. be, he, he wouldn't be here if I was worried about that. <laughs> now you all have COVID. My master Digimon plan is Digi-complete. <laughs> Infection. <laughs> the infection is spread through your 5G network. It's too real. <laughs> the virus has evolved to become our. Jeez, wouldn't that be like a Digimon plot? Uh, that a digital virus turns to a real one? Yeah. Like, I could see that, you know? If we have Digimon, we have Digivid. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to throw up a way to top that, and I don't think I have any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you are being used for security purposes, then Kanshiro's staff might be using them for all sorts of ends. But yeah, that, that, could, that could be a Digimon plot, is that a computer virus turns into a real-life virus. And we have to, like, stop the virus from infecting our Digimon until it doesn't. Well, that's just the plot of Try. <laughs> we have to stop the virus that stops being an issue halfway through the movies. Yeah. Boy, am I glad we're done with Try. Boy, am I glad we're on Tamers. <laughs> yeah. Like... Not to go into too much because uh, we want to talk about it on the podcast, but you yeah. like it. Well, you've seen some of it, so yeah. Yeah. Like, I was thinking of like, doing a big bit where I'd like, you know, star off and be like, oh man, this is terrible. Oh, did 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 And then I'd be like, no, I actually really loved it. I talk about why it's so good. My puns aren't Aaron's level. I must get stronger. <laughs> he uh... must evolve to ultimate. <laughs> I've been aiding. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, we did. We're ringing you loud and clear, Kyoko. Yeah. Alright, so here's the passcode. Yeah. Here's hoping that girl does her part, man. Good trip trying to chew on cables. <laughs> Actually, we're. Oh, maybe he wasn't. I don't know. I'm just yeah. gonna try and keep him off the table. Cat's just store here in the background trying to eat Final Fantasy. <laughs> I'll put that in the drawer in the drawer. Yeah, she's a bit wet behind the ears, but she's desperate. And there's and there's nothing scarier and no one more dependable than a novice who's desperate. Holy crap. Yeah, you have a point there. Who's she talking about? I think she's talking Yeah, I know. It's it's been too long. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Fuko? Uh. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like Okay, yeah, I think I remember what they're like, at least look like now. Jeez. Yuko, Yuko's the black haired girl. There yeah, she, there, yeah she there she is. is. Alright, just a little more. Oh, alright. <clears throat> Let the hacking resume then. She's hacking in. Yeah, if you had Star Trang on the farm, you'd do it just a little more. Yeah, Trang's no fun. Take me outside. Wait, I just go. Wait, he sent me the same, like, reply twice in a row. And I'm, like, giving him the same answer twice in a row. The Digiline system sucks. If you get a little stronger, Trang on the farm, you can do it just a little more. Except I'm lying, you're never leaving the farm. 
I don't know, we might use Bakuman eventually. Yeah. That's not always true. Sometimes it's like, you know what, you can turn it into something I want to use. <laughs> like, Bakuman's a cool ghost, you know? <laughs> like, we might have a use for him. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> just look to her like, effing Radar's just sitting in Justin's seat. Sorry, lucky seat. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's eh, fine. So, uh, yeah, I guess he's like, take over your position as, like, co-host now, I guess. He's not very... he's not very vocal. Yeah, it's not very good, but, you know, people demand animals now. They demand the cute. I don't have a webcam, so everybody's <laughs> out of luck. I don't plan on getting one, either. Man. Like... Would it be dumb or brilliant if we just got like a cat cam that just followed Radar around while we streamed? People love cats. I I guarantee that if uh, people saw a cat on my stream, they would come and watch if for no other reason than to see the cat. Yeah. Problem is he runs around all over the place, so like you'd have to like hire a guy to like follow him all day. Nah, I just need to put a camera. Get a corner somewhere and aim it down. <laughs> we need to get, like, right there in his face. Yeah. I don't want the internet to see my messy apartment, though. Now security itself is our way in. Okay, let's go. What are you doing? Yeah, just pawn at the air. He's like, quit standing over me. <laughs> Yeah, there it goes. He just wants fast. Okay. <laughs> yep, there he goes. Yeah, I should probably, like, crap. Oh. Uh, friend phone went, like, off chat. I don't now get back. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, I guess because, like, no one was, like, you know, doing anything with it, like, a bit. Well, yeah, no, man. <laughs> if, I've got a, if I've got a stream running, it shouldn't be the... And it's, yeah, and it's not possible. Yeah. Alright, like, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any new messages. Uh, no new messages. Oh, right, like a Rosmith, that's again. Yeah, I didn't even know this. Oh, yeah, oh, 4K Goss Claw stuck on the chair fabric. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, bud. And there it goes. What the crap are we talking about again? Uh, I don't know. Did you want to thing? Anime tournament arc, mother's basement, JoJo's. Where do we even go from there? Oh yeah, did you see? There's like some guy who put out like a video that went viral. That's like, oh yeah, like it's a, like a review of Go, the board game. No. Yeah, he's like, a review 4,000 years in the making. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, yeah, control like, we're gonna live weird for a sec. Oh, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Right, I was going down to that treasure chest. Dang it. Honestly, your cord works a little better than mine, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, because I'll lose connection. Uh, I think I think it's a problem with my controller, actually, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I guess the PS4... Uh, connector fits better. Uh, let's code scan the thing up there. Nope, not that. Not, not, not the white thing here in front of me. Nope. The purple ball. Okay, Alright, before I do that, I want to get the other, like, bits of treasure pieces or one of the art chests. Oh, you'll be able to get them. Trust okay, me. yeah. Trust me, just go ahead and scan <laughs> them. <laughs> oh my god, I'll use body blades again. Yeah. Is screw off Gargamon! <laughs> Man. Like, this is so weird situation. Cause like, I want to talk about Tamers so much, but it's like, oh, but the podcast, though. Yeah, we gotta wait for the podcast. Oh, man. <laughs> so you re-downloaded everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got everything, like, finally sub, like, mostly fine. I think except for like, like the editing back. bit, which go I'm go yeah. back, go back, please. Right, yeah, crap. See the purple ball. Code scan. All right, there we go. 
basically this is telling the answer to the puzzle, which I think there's only one answer because this is like the example. Higher and red, okay, all right. Yeah, so here and red. You can't do it. Not from here. You have to go pick up the red code. Oh, oh right. Yeah. I, mean, I forgot that was even a thing. Yeah, you copy paste the color onto the pedestal. Jeez, like, that's such a. Yeah, whatever. I'll, like, yeah, I'll get used to it. <laughs> Just, like, been so long, right? Yeah. Man, Infermon's so cool. <laughs> Doing, like between his legs in that weird way. <laughs> it's perfect for such a weird one. Yeah. Man, I don't like how dumb it would be if like I just had like a team of like three effing like Deborimon. <laughs> Deborimon? Yeah, whatever, Deborimon. Deborimon. Deborimon, you're right, yeah. Uh walk over to the edge there. Errata might or actually yeah, no, it might be up here. Uh, first time I get that treasure, cause holy crap. Okay. Yeah. Get ready for more rooms like this, where it's go to the one specific gap in the bridge. To get yeah. Alright, makes sense. Yeah, these rooms are annoying. Alright. Okay, yeah, we do have sound again. The only problem with muting it like that is I think when it clicks back on, it's really loud. Yeah, I feel it specifically makes the sound when it clicks off, right? Well, it's not that the, the clicking makes the sound. It's just like, it, it tries to go back to normalize the, the sound from like background noise and us talking. Yeah. So it's picking up everything when it comes back on. I, mean, I don't know, maybe clicking it off. Uh, clicking it back on quick enough doesn't let it do that, but oh, no, keep going, keep going, I think. Right, yeah, he can, like, let's cross the purple areas. Yeah, there we go. Super easy. And if you come back here to grind or whatever, it will be open in the future. Not yeah. that you need to walk all the way around the puzzle area. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, uh, yeah, copy paste. I can't scan the red! Now you got it. Now you got red code. It's floating above your head. I Go have ahead, red Susan. now. This can only mean one thing. It means we got a solution to the puzzle. Yeah, now you just walk over to the best and face it. It's not much of a puzzle. In fact, there's later ones that have like four separate colors that you have to put. Yeah. It's like. It's not a puzzle, because it tells you which one to put there. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I love this game, but the du the dungeon design is kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Like, after a while, like, how much of this is, like, due to it being, like, a PSP game, and then having to, like, pad out the runtime or whatever? I have a PS Vita, but still. <laughs> yeah, and, like, how much is... Wait, I just realized treasure. It's fine. It's not gonna force you to leave. Okay, so there's the way forward. Yeah, it just opens the path. We just took a slight detour to treasure, though. Oh, yeah, you gotta walk all the way around. Yeah. Like, I feel like I normally wouldn't even care that much, but it's like, you get effing memory ups with these. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. And that's a good thing. <laughs> this game, that's a very good thing. Memory up is the best item. You, well, memory up DX is the best item you can find. Yeah. Just memory ups in general. <laughs> yeah, but memory D, uh, memory up DX like is like double what a normal one is. Escape Gate X3. Okay, thanks. I have like 20 of those. Yeah. Yeah, you get so many escape gates and you don't need to use them nearly as much <laughs> as you get them. Skidonega. It's fine. 
there's also one that's like a home teleport that just teleports you straight in front of uh, Kyoko's office. Okay, that could be useful. Yeah, those are really good. It's like, oh, I finished, I finished my job here. You use them in the real world. Yeah. Like, they're not just like a digital item. Well, I guess your body is like data, so it kind of makes sense, I guess? Yeah. You just I, transport I mean, yourself to the thing. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just one of those mm. convenience items that just have that. to make sense. An oh, autopilot yeah. in uh, the, the Digimon Racing style games. Uh, like, those don't make any sense. Feed them to your yeah. Digimon or all of a sudden you're back in the hometown. Like, for all intents and purposes, what even is an autopilot in that setting? Uh, doesn't it look like a... It's like a plane or something, doesn't it? It's like a, if I remember, it's like a weird mechanical, like, plug thing. I don't know. You feed it to your Digimon and then you teleport. Yeah. It's, it's a teleport item. It's like, hey god, I have a theory, okay? So hear me out. Okay. So what, what the Alpod actually does is it, like, teleports your Digimon to, like, you know, the home area or whatever, because it's data. And you just grab onto your Digimon and go with it, because why not? Like, it teleports everything your Digimon has, like, you know, contact with as well. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it, it might as well work on you, too. As long as you're in the digital world, you're data. Yeah, technically, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, because there's that weird Hold episode. On, I think there's a... Or did you get both of those boxes? Yeah, I got both of them. Oh, okay. Oh, what's up, everyone? So it's like, okay, yeah, we're fine. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit before we get to, like, 55. <laughs> oh my gosh, this area is gonna suck, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, remember, you can reduce encounters. Yeah. But then I won't level up, though. <laughs> Just, uh, if you... Uh... I think you only have the level where it reduces and doesn't eliminate. So, like, you'll, yeah. you'll still run into stuff like, less frequently. Ah, uh, you know what I could do? i just turn animations off. Yeah. Like, if it becomes too much of, like, a hassle or whatever, you know? I'd just turn down the counter myself. Yeah. And I'd rather have, like, the experience than, like, you know, the wasted time, right? Yeah. Eh, you're cool. Yeah. You know, it's screw it. This area kind of sucks. I thought I'm just gonna do it, because why not? <laughs> like, we're going rolling around a lot, getting a lot of stuff, and there's gonna be a lot of bullcrap in our way. <laughs> Yeah, just remember to turn him back on before we hit a, uh, like a boss fight or whatever. Yeah, uh, I think short Bad yeah, it is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah! <sighs> I do love that that's an option, though. Oh, yeah! They had time for us to get super confused and not know where the crap anything is. I mean, you just gotta get into this ring, and then it's a straight shot to the middle. Yeah, but how do I get the treasure, though? Just follow the path. This one's a straight shot. <laughs> Alright, I think this is our thing. A uh, blade you done! <laughs> That's so much easier. Done! <laughs> It's such a good option. Holy crap. Yep. If I really wanted to speed this up, just set on our pilot, because yeah. Yeah, whenever I whenever I go to grind, uh, turning off animations is my best friend. <laughs> like, it'd be so nice if you could do that in Pokemon. It'd be so nice. You can. Can you? Oh yeah, you can. Pretty, right, yeah, that's an option. I'm pretty sure you've been able to turn off battle animation since the first game. Alright, yeah. Or at least the second. 
it's screw me then I guess. Yeah, so that, that's... Wait, no, I need blue. Uh, yeah, you'll probably need it. Might as well grab it. You Sorry, have... green, not blue. Oh, yeah. You haven't even scanned the thing to know what you need, but you'll probably need it. Yeah. I have nothing else, it's just nice to have green, you know? <laughs> Green's a nice color. Yeah, yeah, it's neat. Had to choose this. Hmm. Ooh, somebody learned Destruction Cannon 3. Oh, nice. Now, like, it feels weird, like, getting, like, non-signature moves in this game, because I never <laughs> use them. Like, outside of the heals, you know? And that's probably not great. Well, they're useful, because some Digimon signature moves aren't that good. Yeah, that's fair. Or they do something weirdly specific. Go yeah. Because, like, here it's just like, yeah, finally, it's done. Easy. Am I going to not Golden Triangle? Of course I'm going to use it, because it gives me stat boost. <laughs> And yeah, don't need to fuck using her too. That's fine. <laughs> also, there's a pretty high probability that you'll have a skill that's actually stronger than your signature move. Yeah. Oh yeah, like... I don't know if you like... Well, you probably did see it. But I mentioned on the Discord, like, Digimon card game is finally going to... Oh, there's another color up here, huh? Yeah, you can't hold two. You have to do one at a time. But yeah, they're finally getting, like, Terrier Mon, which means they're probably getting, like, the Rabbit line. Uh, code scan. Alright, what's the answer? Alright, we have green. Oh. Well, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Left, left power, power and blue, blue, right power and green, okay. So, we paste the green off to here, and get the blue code and put it on the left one. Do the power of control Z, like, sorry, control Z, control V. I will solve this puzzle. Control C, control V. Man, Devra, like, mention, <laughs> like, there's a point where I was using my old computer and it was just, like, dying. Like, my old, old one. Mm -hmm. It was, like, literally to the point where it's like, oh, yeah, it's like, I think it was, like, the C key or something, like, straight up would not function. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, oh, but I have to, like, you know, I'm, like, doing, like, you know, like, four role plays with people, so I kind of need that key. <laughs> so I just, like, all right, I'm just gonna, like, copy this specific key and I'll just paste it in while I'm typing. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's like, they're done. Everything is good now. <laughs> yeah, that's like, it's a solution. It's not a good one. <laughs> it you have to, function. You have to stop mid-typing and be like, alright, paste C. <laughs> Man, I learned that shortcut super fast. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Jeez, I'm trying to remember, like... Because I don't think one of my characters had a name that had a large C in it, did they? Mm. Yeah, I don't believe they did. But I feel like, you know, I had to use that way more often than I expected. It's an eater. Oh crap, but we turned animations off. But it's just a basic eater. You'll probably kill it in two hits. There, but yeah. That's not true. These eaters are kind of tanky. <laughs> oh no. My mistakes are coming back to bite. Wait a minute. No, that's all mode, not options. Dang it. Why can't we access options in the middle of a fight? Uh. I don't know. Probably to. Keep it from tampering with the difficulty in the fight. 
They can just grade that out, though. Yeah, like, that'd actually be super useful right now. Well, I don't know, I guess not right now, because we're just wrecking this thing so whatever, well, but yeah. Just after the cutscene. Uh, oh, jeez, XVMon. <laughs> hey, he took a hit. That was one heck of a hit. Uh, maybe I should heal XVMon before he dies. Never mind, we're good. This is why we need. This is why we need Antilamon to hit Cherubi Mon. healing moves. Just defense up, dumb. Whoa. Okay, that was worse than it looked. Sorry, that wasn't as bad as it looked. I have to say. Oh boy, ripping that. It's funny. Alright, so wait, just heal. Me. Yeah. Wait, who's using heal? Rapid Mon. Oh. He doesn't. Right, yeah. Oh, it isn't rapid ones. Intel intelligence actually kind of high. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> okay, rapid like kind of. Alright, but yeah, I'll have to keep that in mind for next time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this this is part of Kashio's security measures, right? I forgot that this upcoming area is like the start of some cuts. Cuts. So I told you. That. Yeah, we're on animations again. <laughs> Alright, we got the passcodes. Yeah, I should've just assumed, cause yeah. Passcode. re k totes adorbs re k totes adorbs re kishibe Oh. What the fuck? Huh? Did it go through? That's passcode to the secret room. <laughs> Yo, know, that's a pretty strong passcode, honestly. <laughs> with, like, with like the asterisks in it and everything. Yeah, the asterisks and like the underscores. Like it's fairly strong. All we're missing is like a one for the eye. Apparently <laughs> the passcode passcode wasn't something that capable of being deduced via hacking. <laughs> You have to have a strong handle our personality, or else make a lucky guess. That's a pretty strong guess. Rike totes adorbs. Yes, Rike totes adorbs. I hope we don't have to remember the exact spelling. I'd venture how the passcode changes daily, right? This one's still valid. By the way, yesterday's passcode was... <laughs> now let's just move on, shall we? The too lurid for miners like you. <laughs> the crap does that mean? Uh, lewd. I think. Alright, proceed with the operation. That's Kishibe, alright. You know what, Yuko's offers to be in vain. You have to make your way inside. Right! We only have like 18 hours until the passcode expires! <laughs> Just starts playing the dramatic music. Ah, uh, crap. Are we gonna get a moment to mess with things? Alright, this should do the trick. Gah, gah, here and fast! <clears throat> I've been found! Oh no! So this is... Okay, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm turning the option back off. I'm glad I did, but yeah, yeah. now's the time. It might as well save. I don't think there's a particularly difficult fight coming up, if there's a fight at all, but... Yeah, just in case. <laughs> to the secret room. Nice. Alright, yeah. looks like this is the place. Alright, you remember the passcode, right? Detail for detail. Yeah, of course. Rie K totes aborbs. Nailed it. That's good, makes me think. What kind of one is Kashibe? Haven't you met her? Can't be anything like Nokia, right? Why would you think. However. Maybe Arata hasn't met her? Right, because I think we are, but I don't think he did. 
Okay. There so, it is. oh. Yeah. If I remember right, this seems about right, actually. <laughs> this is Kamashiro's top secret area, then. <laughs> Gotta find the day we're after now. You go search over there. I'll go search in this random unmarked drawer. <laughs> Oh my god, we're actually doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you found something, was it? That trashy old rag? These are underpants! Yes, actually. Oh my god. Why are these in here and how long are you gonna hold them for? But the, why do you even need these in the digital world? Are, are these for your avatar? I mean, that's what I would assume. How, like, can avatars get panty shots? I don't. Depends on the virtual world in question, I guess. Yeah, this is for when you, like, you know, you go to those, like, yo, know, mature servers. <laughs> Ray's heart wrenching diary. Alright, let's see what you. Looks like the contents are encrypted. It can't be. This is the confidential library. Yeah, I feel like this does say a lot, honestly. Hey, you two okay? Yeah, has something happened, Kyoko? Well, it seems there is a disturbance at the preview. Right. What's that supposed to mean? At the preview venue? Find it. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, there's crazy monsters everywhere. Or eaters, I should say, eaters. It's another eater. Ah, Kishiro's per emergency stops in the insurance for a time being. Masa claims illegal access by hackers as a reason. Why. Is well, I guess that's still like the digital world, isn't it? Huh? Like that area they're in? Yeah. Yeah, the, the whole. Okay, uh, yeah. It, it's been a while, but yes, the the place you were in originally was a virtual area. Yeah. For a second, I was like, oh, is this the first time eaters are appearing outside the digital world? No, because you're not. Yeah, we're not out there yet. Yeah. But with that Bakamon, not too confused with Bakamon, manifested before so many people, they won't be able to control things so easily. So I think I explained this, and it's that the Bakamon also means monster. Yeah. So the translation was weird. Arata should have said something like that monster. That monster mod. Yeah, it's. But there's also a Digimon named Bakemon, so it's confusing. Is there a Digimon named Monster Mod? Bakemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> And we we probably didn't hear it, but uh, Arata does say Pokemon in Japanese. Yeah. What's this a bad disturbance? The sirs are down for all the attacks. That's just nonsense, right? Be victims of Ian syndrome from all this. Why hide that? Oh, now, now, Yuko, don't be scared. Tongue will freeze up, he won't be able to talk. Stop joking around. You've been taking care of my brother. That's why this whole time I've been... Mm. Little orphan Yuko and the miner. Oh, that... The... Yeah, oh, minor. Dead. Yeah, sorry, blah blah. blah. Your brother, <laughs> your brother, the condition he's in. He needs someone to help keep looking after him. <laughs> I do a streamer. I read Phoenix Wright. <laughs> this would be a key point. Say a secret. It's better to stay on my good side, don't you think? You can't go through life with grown-ups holding your hand for you. You better play your cards right. 
Die, no, my plum forget to take care of your dear big brother. Oopsie. <laughs> Just kidding, right? Obviously. But seriously, without the hospital taking care of them, all those patients can start fading fast. Oh no! That would just be awful if that were to happen. People like people like you, Miss Rie, should be. Well, I tell you about making that face. It's all good. You can. I think of you as the darling little sister I never had. There's your brother too, of course. The North of our dear departed chairman as well. So it keeps me from simply forgetting anything. You mustn't access my private data anymore. Do we have an understanding? Jesus, character such a shit. <laughs> yeah. Miss Rie, answer me this. What on earth are you playing to do with the demon hackers? Well, well, you finally asked a direct question. This strategy will be very effective. Oh, that's a secret. Eden is, is the dreamland my father built. Keep your filth out of it. I'll never surrender Eden to you. And she just runs off. OMG! Oh, oh. You're so adorable! <laughs> Threatening me with trembling all's crying. So heart wrenching I could just die! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and how's the prep work going along, Akimi? Yeah, without any mishaps, naturally. It's everyone's favorite weirdo. Oh my god, this guy's back! <laughs> We had the design results from the upgrade, yes? Yes, we did. We naturally verified the theory regarding eater behavior. OMG! You're totally kicking it! And there's the test. You knocked that one out of the park, Akimi! Jeez, this character. Yes, yes, leave it to me. I'll have an optimal stage ready and waiting. They'll be the one you and I will never forget. Oh gee, that sounds so romantic. Man, she just can't stop for like a second. No, of course not. So it is like, lady, I'm a man of science. <laughs> Don't give a crap. Okay, Akimi, let's go! <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like, uh, did you know I totally read the Earth was flat? <laughs> He's like, Yara, Yara does it. <laughs> Suedo's like, I can't believe I'm working with this woman. <laughs> he saw us, didn't he? That old guy. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, people. <laughs> that must have been terrible to listen to. <laughs> Get a little sign they did know us, us, and yet he didn't go us away. How <sighs> good. Is he against us or on our side? Which is it? He got the information? Yeah, it's called Rie's Heart Wrenching Diary. Library of top secret Kamashiro information. Got a perfect copy. We'll wait to do the decrypt until we get back. Yeah, excellent. Get out there as soon as you can. With all the confusion gone now, you should be able to leave right through the front entrance. But can we leave the eaters at the preview venue? Well, even stairs are shut down for a time being. There should be more victims today. I understand your desire to get rid of the eaters, but think about it. Making contact with one would run the risk of destroying the confidential information. Yeah, roger that. Takumi, let's get back to the agency. I mean, you could give the information to Arata and you go fight the Eaters. Wait, so Yuki just ran off and that was fine. Yeah, Yuko just left. Did I call her Yuki? Yeah. Dig it. 
Should work from Kanshiro then, either appeared at the preview of it. <laughs> So Kanshiro claimed the hackers of malicious intent and sparked the trouble the preview, did it, did Press an upper report the hackers caused him to pretend to develop unit syndrome? Okay. So blowing anything bad that happens to him on the hackers? Man, it's almost like that one plot point in Try that never went anywhere. <laughs> Wait, which one? The one where it's like, oh, but like the good Digimon are bad though. Oh, the media hates them. Nah, it was a subplot or something. I don't know. It didn't matter. <laughs> then why did we spend time on it? Dunno. <laughs> did you public? Like, was it just to have, like, you know, a reason for the main characters to bitch at each other? <laughs> Probably. Oh, that's so bad. Hackers is nothing more than Outlaw. Like, ask for eyes, you know what that should have been? Mm. We should have had, like, the Omnimon one again, right? Where it's like, oh yeah, like, everyone realizes the heroes Digimon are the good guys, and they all, like, yo, know, like, gather together to try and, like, send them emails or something. Like, just, like, whatever, like, you know, oh, everyone's hopes are giving Omnimon strength, and then he evolves. Everyone should remember Omnimon. Yeah. Cause then, like, that plot would actually have meant something. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, people don't believe in our Digimon, so this is the point where that changes. <laughs> Hackers are nothing more than outlaws, and they're demanding that scapegoats be brought forth. Put it this way, hackers reap what they sow. Pardon me if that sounds a bit harsh. Still, that bruja might make it easier for you all to slip in unnoticed. Yes, we saw what they're doing, but he didn't say anything. Why? It doesn't make sense. Right, the reason why it might be in here... Yeah, is what we found in the secret room. Ray's heart-wrenching diary. As I expected, a library of top-secret Kashio information. It's encoded with advanced encryption, but I finally decoded it just a short while ago. Sorry, I changed characters, I should have changed voices. Okay, was inside the Paradise Lost Plan. <laughs> yes, the Paradise Lost Plan. That sounds like some Lucy Vaughn crap. Sure does. So the Kashiro is controlling the digital ways to execute some large-scale plan. So these digital shifts that keep happening lately are all being caused intentionally by Kamashiro. Okay. Our goals for Paradise Lost Plan to succeed. The digital shifts are simply a side effect of that. Okay, large-scale updates hands a part of that plan, it seems. Oh, so we have to make sure the server doesn't update. We have to delay patch 5.5! <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately the documentation doesn't describe the plan itself at all. <laughs> As imagine, like, you know, like, just hard get to Final Fantasy XIV. It's like, everyone's excited for Shadowbringers. It's like, no, we have we have to stop sorry, not Chowber is like the next expansion. Yeah. It's like, no, we have to stop the expansion because you know, it'll it'll like hurt the world and it'll it'll drain the planet or whatever. It's like you have to like go around actively getting people on your side. From <laughs> just throwing like food at you and crap. <laughs> <laughs> the the next patch we get will be the beginning of the lead up to the next expansion. <laughs> Everyone's just gathered around you doing the shadow box emote. <laughs> of course, we of course you better hope, or we better hope that the 5.4 update takes a bit if uh, everybody's wanting to get. The Yokai Watch stuff. Yeah. Look, that's how long the event runs. Man. Like, I. That's gonna be annoying, because I not have to get editing done, but Yokai Watch, though. <laughs> yeah. If for no other reason than just get things. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm terrible at scheduling anyway, so... First responsible? Who the heck is it? Cut the suspense and tell us. Well, we don't have D&D &D for a while, so... Yeah, that's true. That'll, like, make a lot of room. I'm also, like, going to be more intense in, like, editing the podcast episodes. So that's going to make things real weird. Yeah, because you're... It would say you're actually putting clips in. Yeah. Neat. Like, I might not go, like, you know, like, oh, full, like, you know, footage through the entire thing, but it's like, yeah, you know... Like, it'll probably be good. <laughs> you might have to add in your own subtitles. Yeah, you know, like, eh, honestly, I feel like, you know, if I'm, like, showing clips, then it's like, I probably won't be, like, you know, specifically, like, needing the subtitles. Like, well, I don't know. If I specifically need the subtitles, I can just take a screenshot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd probably be, like, you know, mostly going about, like, oh, the visuals and, like, you know, how things, like, you know, look or animate or whatever. Yeah. If it, it's something specific a character said, you just screenshot it. Yeah. See, what? That old guy. And there's one other interesting piece of information in there. Yo, just what's my mind? Speak of D&D. &D. Yeah. Like... Anything crazy you're gonna get with your new character level? Uh, I got fine steed. Right, yeah. Which is something I think I had all the whole time. <laughs> Man, fine steed is like mounts are so upping good in D and D. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I remember specifically that I got because it's the thing I'm most uh, excited for to use. Yeah, like because it's not just a random. Uh, reading the spell, it's not just a random spectral mount. It's like, it has its own thoughts and feelings and it bonds with you and everything. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's not just a random the like, ghost animal, which it's, is rad. If you think about it, it's technically a stand. <laughs> it, it could be. I, I can <laughs> talk uh, if it's within a mile of me. I can speak with it telepathically. Man, you should, like, give it, like, an epic stand name. <laughs> like, Wild Stallions. Is that a song? <clears throat> Is that a song? I think that's, like, a band in, like... No, it's like, yeah, it's the band from Bill and Ted. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Wild Stallions doesn't make any sense, though. It's just one horse. Yeah. Just call it whole horse. <laughs> Oh, man. That's good. So, yeah, uh, yeah, and then you choose whether it's, like, spectral, fiend, uh, not spectral, uh, celestial fey or fiend. Yeah. So I'm going to have a celestial warhorse. <laughs> have you, like, decide what it's going to look like? Nope. I have no idea. I just know that it's, uh, I have, like, a whole month to yeah. think it over, though. <laughs> yeah, because you know, like, you know, Beauchart's going to specifically ask, like, what does this horse look like? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's such a fun detail. <laughs> yeah, I was just sort of looking at, like, stuff that's like, okay, I have, like, ability score off. <laughs> so it's like, I could do the smart thing and get stat boosts, or... <laughs> I just looked at, like, all the options, and it's like, okay, yeah. This is a dumb, stupid idea. More multi-classing. <laughs> actually, like, actually, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's true, like... I... So I took a level in Rogue. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cause then I could get expertise on, like, athletics and intimidation. <laughs> So Jean's gonna be the biggest dude ever. <laughs> and like, what I'm thinking is like, okay, yo, if I like can survive for two more <laughs> levels, I can pick up the grappler feet. <laughs> and what that means is like, I can like grab people if I hit them with an unarmed attack, I think specifically. And if I do that, then, like, I make the, like, athletics checker bar to keep them grappled. Then, like, as long as I just have them in that position, they can't run and I get advantage on attacks. 
<laughs> so Jean's just gonna like just use his rogue skills to run up to a dude, grab them with his offhand, and then pummel the shit out of them. <laughs> if grappling goes off of athletics, I should maybe invest in it. My athletics are pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> If we ever need to, like, restrain a dude, I can do it. Hopefully. <laughs> there have been multiple situations where we need to restrain a dude. <laughs> yes, especially recently. <laughs> yeah. I was also thinking, like, okay, like, I'm getting rogue anyways. So that means I'm going to, like, get sneak attack by default. <laughs> I was just sitting there, it's like, okay, do you, like, I have a lot of money. Do I want to get him out? <laughs> cause if I can like... Well, I specifically look at us like... Cause I don't know if this is even going to work, but I was like, okay. I can buy an elephant. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I have like enough to like armor it up and crap. <laughs> That's probably stupid expensive. Oh yeah, like it'll take like most of my platinum. But not all of it. <laughs> Honestly, I think we should invest in, like, a wagon. Yeah. Because, uh, Ferrum has proficiency with land vehicles for some reason. <laughs> uh, so does John. <laughs> nice. Like, yo, know, like, mouse count as land vehicles. Ah. <laughs> See, I'm thinking, like, okay, yo, maybe, like, kiss, like, elephants are huge creatures, so they take, like, 15 feet. <laughs> So that means, like, if I elephant attack someone, he is, like, an ally that is attacking within five feet of the target. So I could just be on the back of an elephant and shoot a dude, and it'll count for sneak attack. Amazing. <laughs> so it's an epic, like, boxing, like, fighter, barbarian, monk, rogue, mounted, war, elephant, shooter dude. <laughs> This character is effing stupid and I love it. <laughs> An elephant who rides the elephants. I wonder if Charles could turn into a horse. Yeah. If he can, I... then, like, most of the party can move very quickly now. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, if nothing else, like, people can just get on the back of the elephant. Because it has a huge carrying capacity. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know... You know what? Uh, assuming a, a warhorse can carry more than just Ferrum, uh, Jod would probably be able to ride with him because she's a halfling. Yeah. Man, I don't know if like the warhorse would be like have enough of a carrying capacity for Jean or not. But if it did, that'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I guess Jon wouldn't really get much of an advantage out of like a normal warhorse, would he? Well, it has to. Uh... It has to be strong enough to carry a, like a six foot tall, or however tall Ferrum is, like 300 pound metal man. Yeah, I I believe like most horses can carry around like four to five hundred pounds-ish. Okay. Well, it's also not a normal horse, so I figure yeah. it just works. Man. Like, I, I figure you summon a mount that's big enough to carry you. <laughs> I just realized I could be, like, sniping people from the War Elephant with the Cloak of Invisibility on. <laughs> also, uh, I was looking at the list of things you can summon with the uh, Fine Steed, and if I was, like, a halfling, I could ride a Mastiff, like a, like a big dog. Yeah. I was looking at those, and I'm like, oh, it's so unfortunate I can't. Of course, who knows? Maybe I can summon a gigantic mastiff. <laughs> you summon like a giant corgi. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> a giant celestial corgi. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Nah, but I think a horse is. More yeah. Suited. You're aware of like how up and good that is, right? What the the ability to ride a steed? Yeah. I. J I assume I'm going to get way more move speed. I know that my uh, my uh, mounts can also attack. Yeah. So the big thing with mounts that you have to consider is that like 
Your mount can take the dash and disengage actions. For me. Yes. Sick. <laughs> so it's like, what you literally can do is you're like, you have your mount take disengage. It is like, whatever, 60 feet of movement or whatever it is. And like, you dash up, strike the dude, and you run out of their range. Cause like, that's how like, it works in real life. <laughs> So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get close with my big. Get, get me close like him with my battle axe. Yeah. Honestly, that's super useful now that I do it. Because, like, if you just have dash, like, Ferrum's biggest problem is not, like, you know, like, hitting things hard. His biggest problem has been getting to, like, hit the thing. Just getting in range of the problem. Yeah. Well, now I have. I have, a. Uh... I have at least one ranged option in Sacred Flame, but that's not a very powerful skill. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, up until recently, Ferrum's only been able to go into melee combat. <laughs> so yeah, like, if you have any, like, ability score increases, like, coming up, you know what you should, like, look into? Hmm. Is there's, like, a feat called Mounted Combatant, right? Mm hmm And what that does is, like, first, like... It gives you advantage on attacks against anything smaller than your mount. <laughs> so, like, if you're fighting a person, then, like, yeah, you have, like, you know, a hide advantage, so you have, like, advantage to hit them. Second, it's, like, you have advantage, and it's, like, saves to, like, you know, fall off or whatever, which is, you know, always nice. And it also gives you, like, the ability where it's, like, if an attack would hit your mount, you can make it target you instead. <laughs> and because... I have... I yeah. have, uh, I have, uh, Protect anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like, cause Fear is just such a bulky effing robot that's effing strong. <laughs> How dare you target my mount? <laughs> you do not hit my horse, you fight me now. <laughs> also, if, also, if they're within five feet of me and they target my horse, I can sentinel attack them. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Like, I really wish unarmed strikes were considered finesse weapons. <laughs> I really want to just be sneak attacking dudes with my fist. Uh, yeah, that's another thing about being able to move around a lot is I've got sentinel attack, but I can't ever get close enough to stay by an enemy for it to come out. I thought I had an opportunity last time during the fight against Niccolo, but instead of fighting, uh, instead of doing an attack, he, like, uh, what did he do? He, like, healed himself or something. Hey. Uh, yeah, he, like, in the last, like, session... Yeah. Like, like, he was standing in front of me and Bochart was like, Okay, Niccolo's going to, and I'm like, okay, Sentinel attack, he's gonna attack, and he's like, he's not attacking, and I'm like, crap. <laughs> Yeah, I turned invisible. That was what it was. Yeah. And they just ran over to the switch on the wall, pressed it, and just stood still. That was no. This is this is after he did that. Oh man. He like turned invisible and like uh, went to the other side of the room to like reposition. Uh, Bob, don't the cord. I got myself stuck in that room before that. <laughs> so I'm an idiot. Oh man. My war pick down a hallway. <laughs> I I hope you got that back. Well, yeah, I did. You did. Yeah, yeah. I, I said that as I ran by it, I grabbed it. <laughs> Honestly, like smart idea. <laughs> but yeah, bad situation. Yeah, I was kind of worried why like no one else was trying to like find where Niccolo was. I, th I thought he went down the hallway. <laughs> yeah, because everyone's just trying to get into position. I'm like, no, but, like, perception, though. You could, like, search for people. <laughs> you could, like, listen for footsteps and stuff. You could use your elephant hyper smell. <laughs> I couldn't believe that was a thing. I thought you were making it up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I tried to use it before at some point. But it was like, you know, like, I was trying to sniff where the T-Rex was or something. Uh -huh. And it was like, no, he's way too far for that. 
<laughs> and I was like, oh right, I have this thing because elephant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought you made that crap up. I was like, what? I was about to go looking up if elephants had a heightened sense of smell. I don't know if they do in real life, but they do in D&D for some reason. <laughs> they got a big old nose. Oh, man. I, after Warp, like, that's purely because they're just, like, trying to find one more trait for the race, and they just had no ideas. That might be it. They might have just needed something the Luxodon could do. Yeah. It's like, okay, they carry a lot of stuff. They have, like, you know, natural armor and, uh... Well, elephants can't see in the dark. <laughs> At this point, I'm getting fun uh, skills and such, so I'm actually... Like, before, I was like, a fair, I'm guys, I can make a new character and it'd be fun or whatever, but yeah. now it's like, oh man, I'm getting so many cool things. <laughs> Although, I don't know. I'll, uh, I've got a backup character started. Uh, oh, I need to level him up to... Yeah. To see what skills it gets. I had to like, yo, know, like actually write down stuff for a backup character too, because like I have an idea. I have a concept. Yeah, it's a can... pretty fun concept. Yeah. Well if it falls in line with like the races and stuff that Boshar has access to, you can just uh, go into D D Beyond and set up another character. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, like what's I'm like I don't want people to know what, like, F well, I assume, like, most of the group's not gonna listen to this or whatever. But yeah, it's like, I don't really want people to know what exactly I got with John's level. I just want to make it kind of a pair, like, kind of a pair that I got something. <laughs> I want to just run through in cars and just see how long it takes them to figure out just how dumb I went with it. It's like, oh, John is everything. <laughs> John is a rogue now. <laughs> he can speak the thieves' language. Yeah, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you roleplay that? How do you just suddenly know how to do that? Like, my thing, like, Ferrum suddenly realizing he's a sorcerer <laughs> makes more sense than that. <laughs> yeah, like, Thieves like, you know, yeah, actually I think I may have like a justification because it's like, you know, he's been like in the yard before, he's had to like hunt down ruffians. <laughs> you know, he's like, he probably like picked up a bit of like, you know, how they can kind of do things, he's just not good at it. Mm. But you know, it's probably like, yeah, you know, he's like looked up some stuff just in case because we were like hunting down cults, so it's like, alright, yeah, he knows like the speak of the underground now. <laughs> I've still got to come up for, uh, come up with the backstory for Pharaoh. <laughs> Although, uh, what I've got for him right now, his backstory is kind of empty. Like, I guess I could come up with something that allows for a more complex backstory, but yeah, like maybe it was made for a purpose, you know? Oh, like even yeah. something like that would probably help a lot. <laughs> Well, I said he. I said he was animated for a purpose. Yeah. Although my goal, uh, my that also is really vague and not in, uninteresting. Yeah, I think like Boshar did say at some point, like during the aftershore or whatever, that it's like he was gonna go like speak to people at some point about backstory stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that'd probably be an easy thing to like work in to be like, oh yeah, like yo. Know, what is, like, Ferrum's purpose? What was he made for? Yeah, if you've got an idea, uh, Boshart, if you have any idea or any <laughs> suggestion, let me know. I'm bad at this. Also, uh, Blue was talking about sketching our group. Yeah, I that mean, should be neat. I was, tr I don't have any artistic talent, so I was trying to, I was trying to make Ferrum in Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard. I can't give him like a like a shield and a battle axe. Closest yeah. I can do a sword and shield. Uh, the closest I can get to making him a robe like a metal man is uh, with glowing eyes is to make him a malfested and turn him gray. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that's like not too far off, really. Yeah. And then I'm and then I'm sitting here and it's like, but he doesn't. 
like I saw like some tokens of Warforged, and it's like, but they do look way more robotic than what I have. My guy just looks like a metal man. Yeah. He doesn't have any robot joints or like. You know. Ideally, I wanted like a helmet that looked kind of robotic, but Soul Calibur Six is uh, understandably lacking in those. Just, just pull up an image of like Metal Knight from One Punch Man. <laughs> It's like, done, that's Pharaoh. <laughs> Cannons and all. Just Photoshop the head over the Soul Calibur 6 model. <laughs> that has to be a thing. Like, someone has to have, like, a PNG of just the head. Yeah. I, I also couldn't find... There's no armor I could find that uh, matches the description of Splint armor. <clears throat> so he's just kind of wearing, like, a leather get-up. Yeah. Like, if he's meant to a metal man, I just put him in, like, you know, like, clay mail or whatever and just say it's split. Yeah, just just go for, like, end goal Pharaoh where he's in full plate armor. Yeah. Honestly, like, with Hatch Mai we have right now, you could probably just buy plate armor. Maybe. Because, like, I don't think <laughs> it's, like, I think it's, like, a thousand gold or something. I... With my platinum, I might be able to afford that. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, it's like, it's not a huge amount. I mean, it is, but it's like, you know, we're pretty up there at this point, I feel like. I feel like doing the conversions wrong in my head. Oh. Uh, we picked up like 50. Uh, now that I, I'm thinking about it, we picked up like 50 platinum from Niccolo, and I don't think we ever distributed it. Right, yeah, we should probably do that. I'll try to keep that in mind. Split up Niccolo's pocket <laughs> money. Yeah, he don't need it, he's in jail. How do we split 50 gold seven ways? Uh... <laughs> well, knowing Skat, he'll just say somebody else can have his. Man, I'm so sad for Jean to, like... Thieves can't have to do you speak infernal. Oh, jeez. It's not something we need to know anymore. <laughs> yeah, but the meme will never die. <laughs> Clearly. I will <laughs> keep it alive on live support. <laughs> Long past the expiration. <laughs> like, the meme will be sitting there begging me to kill it, and I'll just look it in the eye and say, not today. <laughs> You have one more job to do. <laughs> My stupid thing became a meme, but it doesn't really come up all that much. Which stupid thing? Benny the Tiefling. Yeah. It's because he, like, that group... Like, we interact with, <laughs> interacted with them for a while, but then they... But then we have them now. Uh, also, if I remember correctly, Benny kept... But, like, bungling things while we were in the ruins. Yeah, so, Benny screwed up big time. Yeah, so so Benny is also kind of a meme of my creation, plus he's an idiot, so great. <laughs> like, everyone's like, oh yeah, Benny the Tiefling, awesome, and it's like, oh no, Benny's the worst. <laughs> Benny's like, just that one guy nobody really likes anymore. <laughs> Shame because Benny Hargrave is a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> Benny Hill Hargrave. <laughs> ah, gee, like, I thought I was gonna go on about something else, but I kind of forgot. We should probably try and get through more of this, anyways, because we've. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, because I have a little character concept. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm thinking of as that's like, oh yeah, so it's like, I could just make, like, a wizard who is, like, a necromancer, and, like, one of his arms is just a skeleton arm. Can you be a necromancer? Yes. Huh. It's a wizard archetype. Ah, okay. Yeah, you just, like, you can actually, like, you know, animate dead without it, but it's like, you know, it gives you advantages. Hmm. It, like, lets you, like, add your wizard level to, like, the health of undead you control. And, like, add your proficiency boss to, like, attacks they hit with and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. I know there's some experimental stuff that, uh... I think it's experimental or just part of a new expansion, the 5e. Uh, 
uh, that they were using for uh, the Team Four Star group, where one guy is like an undead man, and uh, I think he's called like a re I think he's called a revenant. Yeah, I think that's been like unearthed our car for like a while now, actually. Maybe that's what it is. And then one of the one of the group members was a warden. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I, th I think that's what the class is called. It's not like a fighter archetype, just a warden. Well, I think he's a he was a druid. Huh? I think what was it? Was it Chromagill? He, he's, he's a mushroom man. Weird. Uh, it, yeah, I think he was a druid. Uh, yeah. I, I don't I don't know the specifics of his class, but he fought with like big weapons and uh, he was a druid. His character was gigantic. He, like, he, <laughs> like I, I think he took some kind of feat that turned him, uh, like him, into a, a siege weapon. <laughs> what the crap? Yeah. So, oh, oh so I he, think I know what you're talking about, actually. So he can break down like structures and such. Yeah, I think that's like a fighter thing or something. Oh, okay, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they're going all out if they're, like, using on North Star Kana. <laughs> yeah. Well, they finished that campaign. Yeah, they're going for the crazy bullcrap. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's like, I want to, like, have an undead arm that's just, like, you know, I just control boss actions and stuff. They can just, like, shoot a crossbow as, like, its own action or whatever. <laughs> I want to have, like, an epic, like, you know... An undead skull just in my sleeve that I could cast up in Dragon's Breath on so it can just breathe poison at people. <laughs> yeah. And I will, like, do this without letting anyone know I have skeleton or necromancy anything until the last possible moment. Oh, so you, like, keep it under your sleeve the whole time? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it was, like, a big, like, weird leather, like, arm brace on with, like, a glove and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he was like kind of doing the Auron thing. <laughs> it's neat. I uh, I kind of wish Boshar had access to like more like weird races and whatnot. Yeah. Because uh, I, those are the kinds of things I would like to play. <laughs> yeah. But I don't want him to spend money because I'm picky. <laughs> like at the very least, he should have Tabaxi. <laughs> I think he does. Yeah. I'm going to be an effing necromancer cat man with secret undead. <laughs> My, um, the character I have set aside is a Earth Genasi. Oh, nice. He's a mountain druid. I, is it, the, is... go the goal is to turn him into, like, an earthbender. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do that, might be good to look into Monk. Really? Yeah, because Monk has, like, a skill called Way of the Four Elements, and I believe you get, like, you know, Earth stuff, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's good to know. But yeah, you can definitely, like, you know, like, punch people and, like, you know, flavor your, like, attacks so you're, like, shooting rocks or whatever. Actually, hang on, I just realized something. Hmm. Way of the Sun Fist, that has, like, ranged, like, attacks on Monk. So just turn the projectiles into Earth? Yeah, just make it rocks. <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, use like effing like, you know, what is it, like, uh, what's the move called that I'm like thinking of? Uh, patient defense. I use patient defense and I put up like a rock wall. <laughs> if something gets near me, I kick out it. <laughs> yeah. Kick it out or something. <laughs> I put up a rock wall to block incoming attacks and if it's too strong, they get through. Yeah, that sounds way more fun than the dumb gimmick I was going for, <laughs> where I start with uh, a sling, yeah, and I, I pick up rocks, and uh, there's like, a, I think it's, it's a canter or a spell or something, or maybe just an ability you can do, yeah, uh, where you turn, uh, like you can uh, throw rocks further than normal. Yeah, one thing you can do with the way of the sun soul, and I'm not sure if this is like, you know, fits with the earth birth or not, if you would like make it work. But it's like they do gain the ability to glow like a Super Saiyan. Sick. And like you hurt things in that radius, so maybe you could be like, oh yeah, it's like an earthquake or something. Yeah. I, like, I, I kick up a violent sandstorm around me. Yeah. 
And I think they can also fly at some point. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> they get some fun bullcrap. I can just kick up like a slab of earth and ride it. Yeah. It's like, I think there's a thin avatar they use where it's like you just make a pillar of rock below you and it just launches you in the air. Toph, Toph does a thing when she's running away from the guys who captured her, uh, like when she breaks yeah. out of the metal cage. She, like, kicks the ground and it, like, forms up beneath her and pushes her. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. It, it's such a weird thing she does, and it, but it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, you don't stop the wind, just do that. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that, I feel like. Yeah, I'm, I might have to go go to my character and look at their, uh... <laughs> look at my options with Monk, maybe that's the way to go. I think Deflect Missile, like, you just reflavor it, so instead of catching the air, you dodge it, and then you shoot a rock back. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, or like I kick a rock up to block it and then kick the rock at him. Ah, oh, that'd be cool! Yeah. Cause I'm going for like full earth bending, like yeah. av like Avatar <laughs> style, like kick up rocks and launch them and whatnot. Yeah, I can see it. I can see some stuff here. <laughs> and that's like, oh, yeah, he's an Earth Genasi. Of course, he's like well attuned to do this stuff. Yeah, and like, I'm trying to. It's like, yeah, your capstone abilities are like effing like, oh, you don't age, and you like effing like know all languages or whatever. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, monks just don't age when they get strong enough. Sick. <laughs> and they can just speak to anything. As <laughs> ancient as the earth is so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what that's to do with punching things really hard, but it's a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into monk. It's, that's gonna be weird if, like, your monk ends up being way more of a monk than Jean ever was. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would be that hard either. I'm, I might try to make him a little more eccentric because Ferrum's kind of like, I, like yeah. I don't, I don't even give him a voice or anything or like, and I just kind of talk with him as I would myself. It's like, yeah, just make him like so he's just the extreme like anime type. <laughs> ah, I'm not gonna go that hard. Nah, but not I'm, that hard. I'm gonna, I don't know. I might make him kind of a weirdo. Like, he just, he's, he's just a weirdo who lives in the mountains. Yeah, he doesn't understand social customs. Yeah, he has to, he has to come into town for some reason, and that's how he meets the party. <laughs> this is all assuming Ferrum dies somehow. Yeah. Which, Ferrum's a really bulky boy at this point. Like, honestly, I'd be amazed if Ferrum died and John didn't. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> John's been, like, just rushing headfirst into danger since, like, day one, essentially. <sighs> like, is there anything else we want to kind of get into? Uh, even if there is, we're running low on time. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Unless Linda's gonna be a little later today, but... Uh, she'll be a bit later. Still, we should probably get to a point yeah. where we can start, like, save if we need to. <laughs> Yeah. Cause like if it wasn't clear before, this is like quote unquote a Digimon stream. Be like whatever the crap we wanna talk about. Yeah, at this point like we could have changed the category to just chatting, but uh, yeah. the, the idea of this is Digimon is super superfluous. Yeah. I mean, you do, like, this is your channel and you do D&D stuff, you, you stream the D&D sessions, so. Yeah, it's not too weird to go off on D&D tangents on your channel. Even before we were doing sessions, I was going off on D&D tangents. True. Alright, until survival, we just share it with Detective Mariyoshi. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, you really gained something this time. There's no way I'm for my father's Saki of Kamashiro? No. There's nothing that look like that there. There's always stuff with some trashy panties. The orthopedic underwear. <laughs> The meme from Final Fantasy 7. 
Sorry, I wasn't able to do more. Thanks for your help, though. Yeah, please excuse me. Oh, hey, hang on a sec. Why not be the help? Jeez, I just realized the FF Sun remake's gonna make a big scene out of that, isn't it? What? Finding Tifa's underwear. In the flashback. If that's something you can do. Yeah, yeah, you go yeah. to Tifa's house and she's like, Did you go into my room? And you'd be like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you'd like find her orthopedic underwear. <laughs> huh. I never looked around her room all that much. I just always went in there to play the piano to get her final limit break. <laughs> Yeah, like, I was watching, like, Stargazer streams, and she found it, and just started losing it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if you've ever played Cave Story, but, uh, you meet, uh, you meet a robot girl named Curly, and if you go into a secret room in the back, you can find her panties. <laughs> what? But why would a robot need panties? I don't know. There's no point to it either. You just have them. <laughs> at least, at least not that I remember. Man, Cave Story has a whole bunch of weird conditions to get the best ending and whatnot. Yeah. Like there's a scene where an old guy falls into a pit, and if you go to rescue him, you get uh, uh, the character I mentioned, Curly. She dies. Wait, what? Yeah. He falls into a pit, and if you go help him, she dies. Uh. Oh. So you have to ignore him and just go on without him. Uh, this also means you have to skip getting like a jetpack. You get a stronger one later, but, at the, but for the time you don't get a jetpack. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's like epic highlights of the Stargazer are played through effing like orthopedic underwear. And she somehow failed like the submarine mini game. Yeah, I've never seen that happen. <clears throat> yeah, it turns out if you fail, he, like, just cuts to a cut scene where, like, effing cloud just, like, you have to, like, shoot yourselves out through the torpedo tubes to escape. <laughs> and cloud just washes up on the beach with, like, the effing Mr. Dolphin just, like, you know, next to him, just flopping around on the beach, just slapping him with its tail. Amazing. This cloud's just face down lying in the water. <laughs> Like, seemingly dead. And it just plays, like, the game over music. <laughs> and, like, you just let go for a bit. And as soon as you hit a button, you get up and keep going. <laughs> but yeah, for a second, it looked like Mr. Dolphin was, like, humping Cloud or something. <laughs> just trying to wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dolphin cares about you. <laughs> Yeah, someone's blackmailing Yuki. Yuka. Dang it! <laughs> the Avian, the father's team. Hijacked by that Kishibe woman. By Avian, this dancing gives you a stake to all this too. So, like, Kishibe's like the hub of the thing, right? As the green haired woman. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just wanna make sure I'm clear on that. Like, yeah. she's in charge. Yeah, as of right now, she runs uh, the Kamashiro. Alright, yeah, whatever. Makes sense. Because for a second, I was like, oh, maybe she's like, you know, like the side person, or like this, like, effing, like, you know, number two or whatever. Because she's the one going out and, like, getting stuff done on her own. Yeah. <clears throat> but it, my... If Yuko wasn't a minor, she would own the company. Yeah, makes sense. Vice my opinion of you, a little kid. Your value, you value your friends more than I thought. Yeah, don't damn me with your false praise, faint praise, woman. Okay. Chill, man. <laughs> Perhaps act with curtains better than verbal. Got a new coffee idea. I run, I run. <laughs> this is special. Oyster sauce for extra punch or maybe you prefer apple cider vinegar. <laughs> That was the right response, Arata. But now you need to run. <laughs> I'm not seeing him leave the door. 
Hey, Takuya, what was it? Was there someone else? I would love to see, like, one of these still images, like, for once, one of these still backgrounds uh, uh, actually animate, and it's just Arata bursting out of the door, running down the hallway. <laughs> it's, like, super basic, like, you know, effing, like, you know, just, you see the door open a little on the next frame, and it's completely open on the next. It just flies open. Yeah, like very jankily amid, and you just see a character just pop out of the darkness and just run down the hallway. Grab <laughs> because you were worried about me. Thank you very much. Can I ask you something? You were returned to your original body. Yeah. Why wouldn't he? Well, I don't know. New body seems to have a lot of perks. Mm. I don't know if his original body can go through the TV or not. Well, it can't. At the same time, this new body seems kind of unstable. And that might be an issue. <laughs> what makes you say that? Just because you're put together with like, trash data? Yeah, because, like, when we popped out in the real world, we were just, like, raw data floating around. Right. And, like, our current appearance is just, like, a skin. Right. <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, you know, wake up one day, I just, you know, like, step out of bed and my leg glitches through the floor. And I, like, lose half, like, my, like, foot or something. <laughs> I don't know what could, like, happen when, like, stuff gets weird. On someone that's, like, you know, just, be, like, you know, using 5G networking on their phone and it just scrambles my body or something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so it tries to, like, log into their computer and, like, logs into, like, my bowel functions. God, have you... Have you seen Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase? Uh, yes. What if they just throw a magnet at you? Oh god. Aren't you kind of just like the phantom virus? Yeah. <laughs> no baseball, though. Oh my so it just like, it's like, hey, here, catch this, throw a magnet at you. It just like clips through your body and gets stuck inside. You just start glitching out. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. God. Nah. Oh, man. Oh, no. Arata's <laughs> death cry. <laughs> oh, God. My throat. Is, is this how it all ends? He should have ran. How does Kyoko live like this? How does she survive off of this stuff? Let's go talk to Kyoko. You probably just need to do cases or something. Oh, uh, yeah, Baron Hyun's all along. Let's have him talk more. Alright, which Digimon uses two shotguns as weapons? Could it be Ground Loco one? Yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps we might do a part of Hyun, but nothing comes to mind. Yeah, Baron Hyun's not all that much. Let's have him talk more, though. You really don't need to answer all of these. <laughs> do your best. Hey, yeah, bro, she the was all thing. that long. Let's say, God, talk more. Ugh. Again, good in concept, bad in execution. They go talk to Kyoko. I like to imagine, like, all three of them just talk to each other. It's like, hey, what'd you do if you came to another? It's like, I know, what will I do? And they all, like, asked you and you just gave them all identical responses. Hey, that's what you said to me. Oh, wait, was there no new cases? Doesn't seem like it. Pakistan. She's still looking for allies in Kowloon. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, there's where we go. Time to go help Nokia. Probably Galactic Park, because that's the only place you ever go to when you go to Kowloon. Right here. Nope. Hey. Oh, did you go to Kowloon 2? Yeah. No, go go to Kowloon 1. Oh god, don't go this way. It's like walking back. Ah, jeez, yeah, you're right. No. No. <laughs> oh, if you're looking for a pleasant home gate. Uh, 
export. We'll take you back to the dungeon. Yeah, okay. Home gate takes you back in front of Kyoko's office. That probably took way longer than if I just, oh, like... it took you back to Kowloon 1. Oh, nice. Interesting. I didn't think it would do that, but I'm oh. glad it did. Oh, it takes you back to the beginning of the dungeon area you're in. Okay, yeah. Hey, look at that. It's not her, but... Hey, you're Akino's friend, right? I have a request for ya. Oh, that's right, you're the cyber sleuth. I'll send the case info ahead to your office. Yeah. Now you can use the home gate. Oh. Nope, not that one. Let's save before you accidentally exit the game. <laughs> yeah, I'll be <laughs> fine. Home gate. Yeah, home gate. I can't believe you didn't get a single memory up in that entire maze area. It's fine. There we go. Alright, there's a new case. Expanding the Nokia corpse. Scorp. It's yeah, I know it's spelled weird, but it's it's pronounced core. Expanding the Nokia corpse. All right. Well, help a kill, but I'm totally powerless. Need you help and stuff me. Oh boy, it's this part. <laughs> like, hey, I seem to be really bad at getting people to agree with me. Maybe you can do something. You seem to be better at this than I am. Uh, oh, now you gotta go back to Galacta Park again. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Cyber Sleuth has a lot of go talk to the client and then he'll send in the case and then you went back to two again. Damn it! Because <laughs> I'm always like, oh, this doesn't look like an area one location. It looks a bit too advanced for, you know? Not. A digital playground or whatever. Yeah, it's like one of the coolest looking things in the game so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, I love this game, but it's very primitive in a lot of places. Yeah. Man, like, this is so off topic, but did you hear that it's like, yeah, the Skull Pilgrim vs. the World game? Like, it was basically made within five months. Uh, I think I heard that. There was, like, a whole bunch of development issues and such. Yeah, uh, they, like, shoved off to a studio that never made a game before, and they just did it. Yeah, dis yeah despite all the all the hard uh, hardships that went through, it came out a really good game, actually. Yeah, kind of nuts, actually. <laughs> Get to the case details in just a sec, but first there's something I want to check. Face I know, are you a member of the Rebels? Who are you? What aren't you? What do you mean that seems a bit vague? Akio didn't mention you, but it seems like you want to join the Rebels. So please, keep watch or Akino. That's your date. You're the one who changed her, so it's the least you can do. If you let her get into danger, I'll never forgive you. And well, I, I love her, so... <laughs> huh, love? Huh, like? Huh, leap? I... What do you mean? Haha, <laughs> translation. Ugh, I don't know, this is so weird. I'm screwed, I love her, but I like her, I won't leap around too! <laughs> okay. Alright, buddy. Please don't make fun of me, I'm being serious. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Jeez, I, I'm getting some weird Bacchano vibes from this. I don't know anything about Bacchano. <laughs> There's a point where it's like, oh, the big killer just, like, yo, gets away and he has an arc where he's like, oh, I want to ask out this girl I like, but I know, but I'm so into her, though, man. <laughs> That's the best. I should probably watch Bacchano. Everybody says it's really good. Yeah. Like, if you enjoy effing, like, Dorarara, then I think you'll enjoy it a lot. I did like Dorarara. Yeah. It's definitely a lot gorier than Dorarara. <laughs> That's fine. I think that's to its advantage. I should finish watching Dora. <laughs> Specifically, I never got. I, I never actually made it to the second season. Or the fine, uh, second and final? I don't know. I don't remember. Man, the reveal of Killer is so good. <laughs> okay. The rumors that some of the hackers who are no advised to join us have something against her. I'm powerless. If anything should happen, I want you to protect Akino. 
So be your bodyguard. Kowloon 1. Yeah, Akko's on Kowloon 1 now. Go and look for her. Alright. Wait, but we're in Kowloon 1. Yep. Answer is Beelzemon. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> Jeez. Why is uh, Chromon threatening us? I uh, it is an ultimate, so we should take that seriously. <laughs> Which did John use the identifying flying kiss special move? It's Fademon. Lay Devimon? <laughs> yes, Lay Devimon, famous for being alien related and also extremely sexual in nature. <laughs> One of those things is kinda true. Yeah. I mean, her first appearance in the anime is like a slap fight baby one. <laughs> and it's the best moment Kari has ever had. Kari's so angry. <laughs> She's so into it. Oh, please turn off encounters in Calvin 1. Yeah. <laughs> There's no point in fighting anything here. <laughs> Uh, where is Reese's and Kara's? Not yet, go up. No. Can't turn them off because you don't have a Mega in your party, but screw it. At least we can murder babies. At least we can t also, don't waste your, don't waste your energy on auto attack. Or oh my god! I have to murder the babies, there's no other choice! I, mean, you can run. I have to murder these babies in self defense. Alright. <laughs> Where's a Lekmon? Oh, hey, look. Where's a Lekmon when you need him to keep the babies away? <laughs> hey, is that okay? Ask you to do your best to watch over. Secretly. Okay, now things are getting sketchy. <laughs> You're basically telling me to stalk this woman. <laughs> Here's an emergency. That's a different story. Otherwise, just watch her from afar. That's what a real man does. That was it. I swear, man, if this becomes an inside Mari, then I'm going to, like, lose it. A what? Oh, uh, it's a manga about, like, you know, a body swap where it's, like, goes super wrong. Oh. And it's like, oh, you don't know anything about this person, and now you're just ruining their life and everything's terrible. Ah, great. And it's like, it's like, it's almost like a social horror. It's like really insane. <laughs> it's like, it's all about that feeling of like, oh yeah, like your mom is just out there. Like, you know, oh hey, why aren't you going to school? You should take your medication, hon. You're not feeling good. It's like, oh god. <laughs> you join the Rells? You'll join, right? You, you will have talked for so long about this if you weren't interested. No. Do it for Eden. For the Digimon. His problems will be there whether I join or not. Anyways, I'm the last player who can change things. Never got good grades in school. I have a girlfriend and don't have a job. No, we aren't gonna change anything. Yeah, that doesn't matter. We're looking for all the losers. <laughs> oh, could time with me and the Digimon need all the help we can get. Even the little things you can do. Also, if you join the Rells, your grades will get better. Not just lying. Do they have a study group even? I mean, Noki is an idiot, of course not. She's weirdly... <clears throat> she's weirdly charismatic, though. Okay, Rebel study group, lesson one. This is why the Earth is flat! <laughs> like... Unbelievably, her little Rebel group thing actually starts to form up. It's... Nokia's weirdly charismatic, and I don't understand it. To be fair, she is just spending all her time going around asking random people. True. <laughs> like, you know what, fair enough, she's putting in the effort. <laughs> just what, you know, like, boats go over the horizon, right? That's because the horizon meets your eye level, so of course the Earth is flat! <laughs> and it's like, oh god. <laughs> 
Yo, dear girlfriend, you'll even find a job. Well, Car she's got charisma and the ability to lie. <laughs> You know what? I'm willing to say, like, yo, know, maybe not the worst point here. It is a social group, if nothing else. You will meet people. And I guess being a rebel is kind of a job. She's probably not paying them, though. <laughs> you, you're not guaranteed a job, but you might, like, find someone who's looking for employees. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> really? Don't really. I would actually know. Everyone gets different results. Okay, I forgot. She doesn't. Sh she she follows it up with I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Man, like this this is starting to sound like a cult. <laughs> <laughs> nah, a cult would keep up the lie and not ever indicate that uh, that anything bad could ever happen. It's like you know, you might not get answers eventually, but you will get a response. <laughs> From the, like, giant skeleton in the sky. I don't know why I went for giant skeleton that's kind of terrifying. I'm sure certain cults believe in weirder things. Like, there has to be a cult out there somewhere that believes in, like, a giant skeleton in the sky specifically. Like, specifically. Yeah. I believe in you. I believe in you. It's been a while since I heard someone say that to me. You're being truthful with me, that is. Right, it's a deal. I'll join the Rebels. Yeah, awesome, thanks! I guess she's just stupidly passionate and that's why it works. Yeah, that seems to be basically what it is. Awesome, that's amazing! Kill, you have a gift for a crew, don't ya? Yasu Conduit Cinema, you're you! What? Yasu Kanto is said to be near, near you. Even Takumi's like, what? <laughs> is that the guy's name? Yeah. Yasu? Yeah, the dude in the baseball cap is Yasu. <laughs> Yasu's Kanto is said to be near you. Also, yeah, there's this. Literally. <laughs> also, there's this reason for them to join. Actually, now I think, right, you're actually really pretty. Is it okay for me to date the leader? <laughs> you know what, to be fair, yeah. Yeah, sure. In fact, I think her initial group is just a bunch of dudes. <laughs> yeah. People are kind of desperate points. Man, how, how like, just crazy and screwed up would be it? It's like, the group gets together, it's just a bunch of incels. <laughs> They're just like, oh man, this is my only shot, you know, and she's like, I'm not into it. And they're just like, oh man. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's... that might be a problem, <laughs> Just fine, we'll work that out later. Jerk's pushing his luck. How can you just make a pass Akino so casually? I wanted to do that! Okay, I'm gonna put a stop to this. Go beat the crap out of this guy! Oh my god, Akino, what have you created? I don't know much of... I don't know much about the subject, but the fact that he was so casually able to hit on her probably makes him more likely to get a, get a girlfriend than this guy who's stalking her. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah, like, you know, miss 100% of the shots you don't take after all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, like, go me, Takumi, let me out, let me at him! Yeah, it's great. I had to tell everyone about this. They have to know I'm how I'm a hot girl. <laughs> Alright, sure. Whatever you gotta do, man. <laughs> Just hot girl exists. Internet following appears. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's about how it works, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, am I even wrong? <laughs> yeah, no, wait, don't. Nokia's like this weird... Oh, a hot girl, you say? <laughs> but of course she's into it. Of course she is. Nokia, you did it! Yeah, y apparently I'm a hot girl! <laughs> Not that! Successfully recruited him! Oh yeah, yeah, that's great, yeah. <laughs> You're seriously more happy about being called hot? You ought to be fair, yeah. But of course you did. Hadn't gone used to the fact that you're the leader now. Oh. Yeah, thanks. We still have more members. 
Also, also, that Billy Leaves is not quite there yet either. Still can't face Yugo or Faye. They're too strong. Yeah. Well, maybe if we get stronger. Oh, no, no. I mean, you guys. I'm worried that I don't have what it takes. You guys are awesome. <laughs> She's like, I mean I will literally fight her in a fist fight. I mean, she probably does. Not enough practice, maybe? Nokia probably very much does want to take Faye in a fist fight. <laughs> yeah, me neither, actually. All you need is a bit of motivation. <laughs> huh, really? Hmm, motivation. Uh, can you eat that? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a Digimon try, uh, Agumon would have said. Yeah, it's like it's such blatant flanderization. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not it's okay. like the actual word for it. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just let's not go into try rants again. <laughs> Standard out trying to figure this out what to be good. Right, time to recruit more hackers. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. Wow, Akno's so brave, so tender. I'm falling for her. We know. Ah, she's get away. Gotta protect her. This guy wears fedora in real life. I must protect her with my penis. God. <laughs> Looks like Nokia is going to Kowloon. We're in Kowloon. It probably means Kowloon level 2, so go to the right. Yeah. Answer is very one. Alright, what's one more <laughs> move is we're to drawing Gotamon's special move? Rock Fist? Oh, alright. Furiously wheels on a guitar, heck yeah! Yeah, Rock Fist. <laughs> Got it. Gotamon would be way cooler if he just whipped out a guitar. He'd be so much better. <laughs> By the way, you should save before you hit another scene. Yeah, just a case. Yeah, we can run out of time at any moment. If Gatsumon was actually a rocker and his evolutions were him gaining more star power. <laughs> if he if he just turns into metal marrow uh skull marathon. Yeah. Man, why is it not a thing? I want to be a thing. Go also I assume this is the right way. Maybe. Go with Goblimon. No, but go though. There we go. Yeah, Rapid Mon's so kind of cool. <laughs> I was about to say the opposite. I was gonna say every evolution past Gargamon is so lame. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I like the head armor, but holy crap. This, this like, whole design feels like a swing at this, you know? Yeah. As far as the Tamer's partners go, Giamon and uh, Renamon easily get the coolest evolutions. Yeah. I don't really care that much for Ward Ramon, but it's like, it's still neat. It's like, you know, Gallimon's rad. Yeah. <clears throat> Like, I guess Mega Gargamon's cool, like, I, I feel like that's one of those Digimon that's just sort of, like, growing on me over time, you know? <laughs> I think Mega Gargamon would be cooler if it didn't have, like, a weird dog face. I don't know what kind of face it should have, but, like, it's got a weird dog face, and it's got, like, weird, it's got like, weird airplane head wings. Yeah, like, I, I they could have done something cooler with, the, like, ears. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, yeah. the movement animation for Mega Gargamon in this game is they extend. Yeah, yeah, I think I do remember doing that in the anime at some point. Yeah, and it looks really dumb. Hey, you want to join the Rels to help protect the Digimon, please? Or right, steal your feelings towards Digimon, but... Honestly, I doubt the Rels are going to change anything. Well, that depends on how hard we try. Team just has to has just been sub recently, right? Guys don't match for the Zaxons. Well, whether we are or not, we still have to try. That's why you should join the dollars. I mean the rebels. 
Yeah, we don't no matter how much time goes by, the Didron situation won't change. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold on there. Hello, unknown blocking hacker. <laughs> you had kills would go around asking attackers to join, aren't you? Oh, wait, stop. I don't get want to get dragged into this. Yoink. Oh, but wait, wait. Hey, who are you? You let that guy I was trying to recruit get away. <laughs> you don't know about it because you're an outsider. An outsider? I'm feared, loathed, despised, and shunned by the hacker community. I post Garfield fan art! This guy's probably a total punk loser. The emphasis on fan art! <laughs> I'm the luxury hacker of the God. This, like, have you heard of, like, the epic Twitter channel? It's like all they do is they post pictures where it's like, oh yeah, ones of like, yo, their hand holding the food, and the other's their yeah. hand crushing the food. Crush, crushing the food with force or whatever. Yeah. They're gripping food with force. Yes. Yeah. It's just a big waste of food. And they got like banned on Twitter because like it was so upside that people just mass flagged them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it was like suspender or banned one or the other. I don't think they got banned. Ooh. Yeah, they all like suspended. Uh, something like that. <laughs> legendary hacker of infamy. Doesn't legendary and infamy mean pretty much the same thing? Well, infamy has a negative connotation, Agumon. It's okay. You'll yeah. understand. <laughs> You'll understand what's related to food. You see, this food is legendary, but it's also infamous. Yeah. I did. You're that annoying Conk Relief character, right? <laughs> Looking for a moron position. I'm afraid I'm not hiring right now. God, we've got too many morons as it is. Wait, what? Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> oh no, it's a bad situation. It's fine, we can take him. Say what? Oh, that's it. I'm gonna pound your face into dust. Oh no, so you're gonna fight me then? You want battle? Yeah, I think this might for show something. Yeah, you get Gobamon. Well, if that's how you want, bring it on. Akno's in danger. Takumi! Huh, Takumi? Who the hell are you? You are back up. Well, I have time for this. Let's finish this. It's fine for me because we know she kind of so Oh, whoa! Surprise! <laughs> okay, I guess he is pretty legendary. Packing megas Oh my for god! Some... Packing megas for some reason. <laughs> Holy crap, that damn hitch! Don't think about this fight too much, it's a forced loss. Oh, alright, I was like... <laughs> you, you lose to this guy. Because you literally can't run him. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the golden triangle, though. Super effective in everything, it doesn't matter. V laser! Thanks, game. Probably could have took these guys, but you know. Yeah, I like. I really wish they would at least let you like do damage and have a hope of victory. Well, I don't know. I guess to, if it's forced loss either way, you know, then like at least I'm not like thinking of wasting items on this right? Yeah, I think Rapidmon has to fall to one HP unless there's like a turn limit. Hopefully they'll actually hit me then. <laughs> Alright, the laser do it. Cool fight. <laughs> if only I had Megas. Oh my god, Rapidmon is so bulky. <laughs> yes! Acceleration boost. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> well, who is this guy? He's so strong. What's this? I thought he was all talk, but 
<laughs> you lose. Yeah, I thought he was all talk when I first played two, and I was like, who's this punk? I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. And it's like, oh, he just has that. Okay. He's Nokia's effing rival, apparently. <laughs> we have to help Nokia with all our strength. Like, he's the guy with the cooler Greymon variation. Surprise. <laughs> she, just yeah. get, she just gets Megas. Oh, come on, come on. What happened to your bodies? Oh my god, Nokia. I'm more Greymon. And I'm Melgarumon. Our desire is to help Nokia. It's made us Digivolve. Digivolve. To be fair, the because of the limited graphics of the game, it doesn't show kind of how desperate the situation is, where you're just getting blasted by this guy. You can't hurt him at all. Yeah. Come on, Nokia. Let's do this. This could be a, a scene right out of the anime if they animated it. <laughs> Straight out of try specifically. <laughs> Where the rookie part just jumps the mega out of nowhere. Yeah. Man, like, did you see that point in, like, effing, like, Next Order? Uh, where it's, like, Geomon Digivolves? Uh, I saw him go to Growlmon and then he gets and he gets immediately whooped by a machine. Yeah, Jumon. he digivolves and has his big hero ball and he immediately loses. Afterwards, his tamer is like, "Oh man, I how am I not strong enough?" <laughs> and he gets all like, you know, just angry about it. <laughs> Idiot, Machine Jumon's a mega. Man, I can't beat him with two megas. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I did beat the second Machine Jamon, at least, if nothing else. Man, like, do you mind being spoiled on that game a bit? I do. Okay, it, yeah. Because I might, I might beat it someday. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, like, hold off on that then. But it's like, boy, like, something interesting comes out of that crap. Also, at least Yasu heals you. I know one thing, yeah. and it's that apparently the Digimon World protagonist is in it. Yeah. Like he might be the villain. So on the playthrough, I got to the point where you meet Mameo, and he's like, Hey, I'm not the bad guy. Ah, okay. <laughs> and there's like, no, but the virus is like, I've just, like, come on, just trust me for a moment. Trust me, I'm the good guy. <laughs> and he's like, I'll explain literally everything. And he sits down and explains literally everything. And it's like, ah, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, please do your best. Or time, your health and stats are back to full now. Round two, let's go. Can we do it with Nokia's help real now that it's a real it. fight? Oh, that's acceleration. Oh, yeah, that's scary. Uh, I just guard. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Yeah, let's go to Rapidmon. Let's give Rapidmon crit up, even yeah, though he's probably gonna get it anyways. Oh yeah! Oh, that's a cool attack. Ice Wolf Claw's always so rad. Oh, is that? Oh, oh yeah, Guru Tomahawk's just like a one big missile, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah! He also has Terra Force, by the way. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, they both have two specials. Wait, can I stop him in time? <laughs> Maybe not, but we're gonna get close. Champion fighting Omega. Oh, this is like... Ah, oh, it's not great, but you know I have to try. Bunny Blades! You know, that was a crit. <gasps> Meteor Fall. No. Oh no, Antilamon! That's Okay, so Antilamon's down. There's this big moment, but Nokia's Digimon won't actually do that much damage. Yeah. Like, it's actually a real fight, which I kind of appreciate, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's not just Nokia gets Megas and they stomp the other guy. Uh, yeah, we should probably not send in, like, a, like, effing data type. Yeah, probably not. Alright, Stingmon, you got this! It's Cyberdramon! 
Try and just take out one of these guys. Alright, everyone's kind of resisting stuff, it seems, for the most part. Damn it, Stigmon! Just use Spiking Strike on the War Great one. Yeah, we're so close, though. Why am I not getting crits? I don't have a rapid one because of stat boost. Okay, yes! At least I got the stack boost. Desolation Claw? Yeah, sure, why not? Jerry I! Yeah. <laughs> Desolation Claw looks more like a Kamehameha. There we go, Guru yeah. Tomahawk. Oh, the big combination! Wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Golden Triangle! Oh, we're just a little off. Man, if he killed Stingmon. Okay. Come on. If this doesn't kill, let the camera zoom around behind the board very much. Because I can't. I thought I saw the Crest of Courage, but I'm not sure if I did. It should be on War Greymon, not Black War Greymon. Yeah, well I know Black War Greymon doesn't have it, because I, I got one at one point. Yeah. I always like that touch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because it's like, oh, he doesn't evolve through Courage, he evolves through, like, epping power. <laughs> it should be like Gandorf's Triforce on his back. <laughs> Not such a legendary infamous hacker after all. Darn! <sighs> Run away. Oh, no. Yeah, we did it! We beat a random dude with upping Megas! <laughs> Thank you too, Takumi. But why are you here? I mean... It's so weird to see other people with Megas. Because everyone in Eden are like small time hackers with like rookie or champion at highest. Yeah. And then there's this guy who we've never heard of before show up out of nowhere <laughs> with Megas. He's not even Jimmykin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they could have had Jimmykin show up or something. Yeah. That would have actually made a lot of sense, actually. Akano, that was amazing. Hagron Gabron got so strong. <laughs> yeah, Yasu. Yeah, well, that's my mind. Like, if you're ever watching Bakuno, like, you're probably gonna watch the dub anyways, but yeah, watch the dub. I've heard the dub's really good. Yeah, because, like, it takes place in, like, the 20s, so they actually do, like, you know, the old-timey, like, gangster accents. <laughs> it's great. Alright. Yeah, I did. To be honest. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's been much, but I was worried. Also, you don't need to call me Yasu. Just Yas is fine. Why, well, just whatever. Yeah, I got. Thanks, Yasu! Just add more to the name. <laughs> oh no, that's not. It's. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> From Don Waldorf Fest as members of the Rebels, okay? And what's wrong? Oh, loser. Alright. See, see you later. Get out Yasu. The guy in Red Luke with Coin Pro's nose. What was that about? Who knows? Yeah, he must have been snoring cool, and you should stay away from this guy, Nokia. Yeah, he's bad news. <laughs> Except it's been directed to the love serve of the brain by my pheromones. <laughs> Damn it. War Grave on a medical room reminder like what? So you evolved too, Nokia. And that's your special move? Awesome! Come on, you megas, you should be smarter than this. <laughs> Girls are like Digimon. We're always evolving! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, girls are like Digimon. Sometimes, you know, just gotta get the crust of friendship and then we can become Mel Greymon. <laughs> it's part of the natural cycle for all women to become Mel Greymon. <laughs> 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 
Oh, he's not going to go on. He only turned into a pressable-looking Digimon. <laughs> Thanks to you. We did draw and kill to become really strong. We have a close relationship with our master. <laughs> Except for those few Digimon that can turn into Megas by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like... Wouldn't that be like an insane twist if it's like, oh yeah, I've been like Pinebond used to have a tamer. <laughs> just like all the Dark Masters. <laughs> like just go back a generation, it's just like, oh yeah, like the tamers from like five cycles ago or whatever actually raised these Digimon to be their partners and they just betrayed them super hard. <laughs> if had another where Mega Levels die. Oh man, that'd be a cool prequel series. Like, you just, you know, start up, you don't let anyone know it's a prequel until, like, you know, like, the Tamers start getting, like, Piedmon and stuff, and things start slowly clicking into place. It's like, wait, there's four Tamers, and their mega forms are... Oh! Uh oh <laughs> Alright, let's get pumped up. Rebels, time to kick some ass! And take bubble gum. We did. That's it. the side quest is complete, and Nokia has megas now. I'm here to take gum and kick names, and I'm all out of ass. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the kind of girl to give up easily. Wait, they just think they're out Agumon, Gopron, Digivolving. I assume this is like the Rel's activity is even more intense than before. Intentional night paid to activities of hers that are previously ignored, so... Yeah, now Nokia is walking around with Megas. Maybe she'll be able to change minds after all. Like, of course. <laughs> yeah, because if she is a Megas, she has to be legit, right? To some degree, yeah. Any, any great historical figure who changes the world is inevitably, inevitably not appreciated in their own time. I don't know about that. Like, a lot of them, but not all of them. There's a thin line between foolishness and genius. Perhaps they're right. And any, like, inside news, here's a book on Nikola Tesla. Unrelated. <laughs> And go to the board. Yeah, we did it. Sleuth rank up. Oh heck yeah. Now you're a good cyber sleuth. I'm not an evil cyber sleuth. I think it means you don't suck anymore. But I won't be a morally ambiguous cyber sleuth. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you're the protagonist. You gotta be the good guy. <laughs> Kids are digital all growing so fast. More than you realize. Real lovely sight to see unfold around for all of me. You discuss Nokia of the Rebels. Can you come to Eden? I understand. I'll send a formal request to your office concerning this matter. Crap, what was that like message we got on the digital line? <laughs> it's just random things from. The answer is shoot crystals from the head? Yeah, what Rock is. Rock fist? Yeah. Weirdly enough, yes, Gatsumon fires the projectiles from his head. Wait, where are we? Oh, new case. Man, cause I'm like, I'm so used to like the Digimon World 2 animation, where he just, you know, does the like arm motion and there's just a big rock. Cause it's Rock Fist. Yeah, in the animations for this game, and other things, I think, uh, Gatsumon shoots it out of his head for some reason. Alright, I have some concerns about Nokia that I need to ask you. Saxon 4. Save before we go there. Okay. I don't know why I left the room to save, that was... Yeah, alright. Dunno. Uh, what levels are Digimon again? This is like 3948. Okay, we're almost there. We're so close though. You might need to put Vmon, X Vmon back in your main party. Also, you might want to go heal. Yeah, I really need to go heal actually. I don't think you get into a fight when you go to talk to Yugo, but I'm not sure. <laughs> 
Yeah, I act, like, I at least want to, like, you know, get experience. Because <laughs> high levels are not way. I'm, like, two, maybe? But something like that? Well, I don't know. I guess it's, like, 50. Who was the one that was at 50? Uh, 55. Not you. I think it was... Okay, yeah, 50. And I should have enough to fence my... Okay, so Rapidmon just needs two more levels and I can finally have a Mega. Awesome. We're so close, though. If he hits the defense requirement. I'm so ready for Gargo Missiles. Yeah. Dog face robot. Like uh, the Zaxxon form. I I'm trying to think like how they could have like may have read more rabbit, right? Because there has to be a way to fix that. Like, uh, you make it, you make him have like a full head helmet and it looks rabbity. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Like, it's like, you know, robot head, and you have, like, the ears coming out, and you give the ears maybe, like, you know, more, like, positioning or whatever. I point them backwards and kind of make them sharp-looking, and they're just, like, yeah. part of the helmet. Like, I can understand the mean flag, because he's, like, you know, he's meant to be a kind of, like, blunt-looking character. It's a big, bulky robot. Yeah, I'd still have him, like, going backwards or, like, up at an angle or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, if there was, like, straight up, that'd be better. Yeah. See. Like straight up and then like you know do the full like you know, side pose when it needs to fly. Yeah. Or just don't have it fly by the ears. Yeah. Ellipses contest. Yeah, sorry, that was what I sent you on the request about. Okay, I'll get straight to the point. I want you to put an end to Nokia's activities with the rebels. Okay, we're finally getting some plot. You understand? Her existence is nothing but an annoyance to me. I want to unite all the hackers once more under my leadership and restore order to Eden. Would we better cooperate? Of course you'd say that. This world, this Eden, do you like it? I see. I love Eden. I love all Digimon. <clears throat> How about we go for a short walk? I want to feel more at one with Eden. Right, let's go to the in community area. There, how do we talk on that bench? It bench spotted? It's down below the down here, I think. I mean I don't know for certain, but there's there it is. All the way on the other side. Eh. This is what I thought. It is indeed a good place. <laughs> like, can you imagine if, like, I logged into Final Fantasy XIV and started talking like this? <laughs> like, hey, maybe we should have a conversation. <laughs> Let's go sit at that, like, chair. I, like, you know, run all the way over to, like, you know, the bar area and just, like, use the sit command. It's like, just as I thought, this is a good location for our conversation to take place in. <laughs> You'd just be role-playing at that point. Yeah, it'd be stupid. <laughs> Man. This is... This is a little more natural than, like, 14. Because the way Eden works, I assume it's almost like you're actually inside the the cyberspace it's almost like a virtual reality thing yeah especially for your character who's literally here <laughs> i'm literally made of data yeah so you're actually just in eden world is the pursuit of a dream to free the self from the shackles of the earthly body what the fuck truly unique place where people are free from their obligations their everyday lives where they express their dude it's a chat room Hey. It's a chat room you can... It's a location. Eden is far more advanced than a simple chat room. <laughs> like, you, you're you still, like, have to deal with everyday lives and stuff. This is just a place you can go to where you can do chat things. Yeah, it's an escape. Chat rooms are like what you saw in the beginning of the game. Like... Remember? 
It feels like saying Eden is an escape is like saying like, oh, the park is an escape, <laughs> you sure, know? <laughs> it's like, sure, I guess if you're a technical or bad, but it's like, I don't think it's in the way they intend. Milfers passed their enthusiasm on to the users, and Ian became a haven for the virtuous and they, as they gathered here. But what has become of Eden now? The hackers are on a rampage, opposing the weak with their evil will. Such are the reports flowing in. This world is in turmoil. It is as is now. Not... As now is not as it is supposed to be. Not at all. As, like... Yeah, because this is the thing, right? Cause it's like, there's a similar thing like Sword Art Online where it's supposed to be like, oh, I created this, like, you know, this great utopia for people to, like, escape their lives and stuff. And it's like, oh, congrats, you created, like, a pond where people can go fish. Like, so they can get out and escape a world where they can already go to a pond and fish. <laughs> it's like... The pursuit of realism, like, in a sense, kind of ruins the escapism, doesn't it? No, I mean, it depends. Fishing on fishing in a game is way easier than fishing in real life. Yeah, I, mean, I guess that's true, but, like... That's kind of why the the question is, like, oh, if you love sports so much, why don't you go play a real sport instead of, like, video game sports? And the answer is because video game sports are easy. <laughs> Because real sports suck. <sighs> That's why I play fighting games, Dean. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> yeah, fine games are actually hard. <laughs> I'll preserve their legacy. Noki is a good kid. She really loves you in Digimon from the bottom of her heart. Hackers, well, tamers really, who follow her. They're the same as her. So I won't get them mixed up in any of this. Me, myself, and those certain egotistical hackers are the only ones who should be at risk. You're the only one who can stop her. Please, I need you to convince her, or she's going to go a war against the yellow scars. <laughs> Yeah, let me thank God. Just the answer I'd expect from you. <laughs> you have my point, but you can't be in Nokia, is that it? You're very kind. You always were, even back then. Time you sneaked into the head office of Kashiro. Even then you were always running around concerned for everyone else. Eh, uh, Takumi, is it? I, I tried to contact Nokia, but it seems she was cop and buying someone to join us, so I did get through to her. So I should contact you if I was ever in trouble. I'm a bit of trouble. I'm in Kowloon. Come help me, man. Wait, no, stop! Whoa. Oh no! Machine Jamon's charging up his Giga Cannon for 20 hours! We have to help him! <laughs> Man, I should really just stop dunking on Try for a minute, but it's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. Uh, Nokia, sure. Who's the ghostly figure we chased? Yeah, it's Nokia, of course. Totally Nokia. Where is he? was like in Kowloon? Yeah. I just go to Kowloon 1. When they don't specify... Hello? Yeah, that's nice. I don't have to find Okay. Just spam. Yep! We're calling about your vehicle that you don't have. Hey, have you heard of, like, www.totallyrealplace.scam? Crap, he wasn't just hanging out in Galactic Park. Where is he? He wasn't there. Alright, so we should, like, go check out Kowloon 2 or something, I guess. Like, the place my mind goes is, like, alright, we just went through, like, Kowloon 1 through 3, I think? 
Yeah, but he's probably in Kowloon 1. That's just how the- uh, g go to your- uh, hit the hit triangle. I think it's triangle. Go to player. Uh, go over. Oh, go back. Kowloon 4. Okay, yeah, that's super useful. Yeah, it doesn't do that for the side cases, but it does it for story. So it's exactly like us thinking that. <laughs> yeah. It's just good to be sure. Yeah, man. Did you see, like, that, like, meme which is just, like, flowing around? Where it's, like, effing... <laughs> just some, like, picture of, like, you know, a text logger where it's, like, some guy shows up where it's, like, Oh, hey, like, your ex your ex blocks Microsoft account <laughs> is, like, yo, know, like, in trouble. I need your username and password so I can fix it. <laughs> and he's, like, yeah, sure, it's, like, um... My username is totally real person and like effing like something like this is not like yeah it's something like you are dumbkid.net or something <laughs> just something like that they're just like oh yeah idiot I got your account now <laughs> all right awesome good job stupid <laughs> Do you say some stuff of things? You talk out your ass! Oh no! Don't lie to me! You called me a has been hacker, did you? No, it wasn't me. I'd do anything. I'd say anything about you! Yeah, Takumi, is Yu Gi Oh from the Zaxons? Yu Gi Oh from the Zaxons. Please help me, Yu Gi Oh! Track down Nokia by getting this has been hacker draws, but well, then this happened. Don't worry, we'll solve this with a children's card game. <laughs> uh, Takumi Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Mind crush him. <laughs> Let's light this dude on fire. <laughs> That's been hacker, eh? I mean, it changed with the times, too, I suppose. Like, pick your weapon. I'm going to fight you with a chainsaw. <laughs> I'm going to use Leatherface. Chainsaw, man. Yeah. That's the best effing Yu-Gi-Oh! arc. The one where, like, Joey has to fight Leatherface in Kaiba's Mansion. That sound yeah, I've seen clips of that. <laughs> like the dude has like a chainsaw on his arm or some crap. Yeah, he just like, you know, grabs a chainsaw and joyous to like fight him by like tying him up in the chains or something. Yeah. <laughs> Tristan like beats a like trained like army soldier in epic laser tag by like jumping over the wall and dive kicking him in the face. You'd be a stupid. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Season 2 was so good though. If I had a little shrimp blur it has enough to hurt your pride that I guess your pride's pretty easily hurt, don't you think? <laughs> Where you talk around? Now you're mocked to me too. Man, there's some point where I like I mentioned to Baron, like about like the dumb Yu-Gi-Oh crap. And he was like, oh yeah, I heard a bunch of stupid stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah, like yo. Know, like, there's a bunch of dumb stuff, like, you know, you, you like, beats Kaiba with Exodia or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, you know, people actually run Exodia decks. And his response was like, wait, Exodia's real? <laughs> you can actually win the game by just playing five cards, <laughs> like, kind of in your hand. Yeah, but good luck getting them all there without having the fun to destroy it. Yeah, that's why Exodia decks are the worst. <laughs> Cause like, it's literally just, you don't get to play the game. You get to watch someone else just play cards as they deck search and like, multi-draw until they have Exodia and you just lose. Yeah. It's so dumb. I could easily smash a poser like you to pieces. Come on, let's go. Of um, spirit you go. I don't care if they call you a living legend. That's that's just a load of hot air. Takumi, let's do it. You know what? This does feel like the appropriate place to start getting magas. <laughs> Speaking of champions. 
And he still has Epping Machine Drum on. Yeah, of course he does. Oh, right, because it's wind type. So let's just, like, do the smart then. That's not a fight. Double Scissor Claw. Alright, that might be. Never mind, that's fine. Awesome Quake! <laughs> You know, that was a pretty awesome play. You know, at least it's showing that we are getting on to, like, you know, effing, like, Machine Dramon's level. <laughs> like, we are catching up. Yeah. <clears throat> Funny flat! Alright, come on. Die, kill one. Yo, yeah, I should probably just kill them. He's probably boosting their defense. I think fewer Digimon than you might think have that effect. I don't remember why they kill them on does, but... Uh... Oh, lame and then he can only shoot once. <laughs> you can just keep shooting and never stop. Magnetron fires more... Because it's the no, Infinity uh, Cannon, right? Yeah, wait, not Magna Dramon. Um, Omega Dramon? The Evolution Machine Dramon? Gulliniumon? No. It's the red. Uh, oh, like, that one, the yeah. Final boss, or one of the final bosses to uh, the World 2. Yeah, actually, not the final boss. There's an entire dungeon after it. Oh, okay. Well, still, they, they took that yeah. that thing that wasn't even named like a Digimon and turned it into a real Digimon. Man, Mega Seedramon's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, what a cool this thing. Just like shooting lightning on its horn and stuff. The crazy sea monster. Uh, is. Okay, I don't have the thing I need to get to level 50, but I did get Crestmon up there. Rapidmon? Rapidmon. Oh, you're saying Rapidmon. Yeah, Crestmon, yeah. Rapidmon's getting there. He's getting close. So, so this is the power of you go in the Zaxons. He's on a whole different level. So this is the power of being hopelessly outnumbered. You have the ability to change, to improve. If you want, you can visit the Zaxon forms. Our door is open to everyone. Or I could mind crush you here and now. I could mind crush. This is what I expect from you going the Zaxons. Demok strength and ability to bring new members win with ease. We'll guard to do that with Nokia. Tell me, why did you blood why did you join her rebel team? I suppose because Nokia's honest. I like Eden actually, to be honest. It's more than that. I'm a complete Ian fanatic. I hate what Ian has become. So I want to do something bad, but I had no idea why I should do. I was lost. And then Nokia showed up. Yeah, she's protecting Ian and the Digron in her own straightforward and honest way. So I saw that, I felt like a fool. Like I needed to do something, anything. So I decided I'd help Nokia with her simple, honest approach. Uh, uh, speaking of devil, I'm getting a call from Satan. I've gotta go and take this. <laughs> Don't look like we had stop her. <laughs> Takumi, I have a favor to ask you. <laughs> Stop her. <laughs> Stop her. You and I are similar, actually. <laughs> We're being led on a wild goose chase. But please, be ready. You're just kind of doing Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. <laughs> yeah. Yami. 
Pharaoh, yeah. whatever. They call I don't it. remember what the actual like original what sounds like. It's it's just kind of gruffer, honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fine, whatever. Yeah, Dan Green just has a, like a, a little bit of a deeper voice, so it comes off gruffer. I'm not a professional voice actor, so I'll go for this. <laughs> yeah. pa- parody uh, Pharaoh is good. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like, just the parody voices are way more memorable in general, weirdly enough. Yeah. Whereas the case just tended to her activities, wasn't it? That boy is confused. <laughs> when I hear a story, it sounds like his feelings for an sense of duty are just teen angst. Yeah. That's good. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Most people are not moved by mere words. Possible events of the future should propel you forward. Anyway, the boy paid us our fee. Awesome proper that. Maybe a little confused, but it was raised right. Actually, it's probably because he's so well raised that he's confused. It's better that he paid us so we don't have to chase him down, shake him down. Answers errata. Better luck next time. Wait, what? That's yeah, I know not what the ghost was. The person that you chased down that looked all ghostly was Yugo. Yeah. <laughs> Arata joked about being a ghost. Translation errors, oh you. <laughs> Made sure crack quite the diverse group of people. Yo now that as a detective tab that trait. Alright, save. Save. Yeah. Then just Anytime we're out of a series of cutscenes, just go ahead and save. Alright, I was like, oh, is something coming up that's gonna be, like, really nutty? Not that I know of. Not that I remember. Chapter 11's gotta hit us eventually. Kyoko, what do you got? Your friend's moping around the K-Cafe again. I suppose it's a tough age. Alright, here we go. Uh, Alright, let's go drink some cat cafe. Let's go talk to freaking Ryota, I think. Let's go watch people make like foam in the shape of like a kitty head that costs like 500 bucks. It's not cat cafe, it's to the right of that woman. Oh, this is cat cafe. Yeah. There he right. is. Uh, it's in the right area at least. Is Ryota his name? Yeah, it is. What to do, what to do. Oh, Takumi, how long have you been there? It's like your many years experience as a detective have made you a master of stealth. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Kay just walked over and just put his head like at my hand, trying to push it up so I'd pat him. <laughs> Means he likes you, I think. Yeah. I mean, not a sweetheart. I was already pretty sure. I think he likes anybody who shows up. Yeah, he's so affectionate, you know. Oh. Yeah, there it goes. No, that can't be right. Just the final hour of the stream is just cat petting. <laughs> Like, you just see the Digimon characters on stream, and you just hear cat happy, like, happy cat sounds in the background, I guess. I don't know what that would even be, but whatever. <laughs> Why worry about? Damn it, could you tell? You're too good at this detective stuff. Well, it's better you ask about this anyways. Don't it's like I'm gonna solve this one on my own. Yep. Yeah. Probably put a, a thing on the board. Yeah, that makes sense actually. I mean, like, it feels like we hadn't really gone to much of the sketchy stuff, right? That, like, detectives are known for. Yeah. You're kind of a sleuth in name only. Yeah, we're a problem solver, really. It's not like effing Paper Mario where you have to, like, Compare prices to ruin this like small mom and pop shop. Have you been watching Wooly play it? Yeah, I'm watching like the first chunk of it at least. Yeah, Thousand Your Door's great. 
The, um, game, the game is amazing. Yeah. Man, that, like, once you start talking about it, it's like, yeah, there's, like, way more of this game than I can have, like, remembered. Oh, yeah. Because you don't really, like, think of it. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm doing side quests. And it's like, oh, yeah, to lure this box, don't look at what's inside. Do not look at what's inside. <laughs> and it's like, oh, this is, like, this is some gallows humor right now. <laughs> Remember that time Mario helped deliver evidence of a murder <laughs> to keep it hid from the police? Now we don't know what was in that box. Could have been anything. <laughs> it could have been way worse than that. <laughs> like, what, like, I'm trying to think, like, what would be, like, the worst thing to find in there? It's never dead. Like, I, I'm thinking, like, a step beyond, right? I'm thinking, like, severed jaw. Why? Why is that worse? Because that means that it's like there's potential the dude's alive. No, jeez. Just something about the idea of like, you know, oh yeah, you just like see like, you know, someone's like fleshy jaw that's like, oh god. <laughs> it just feels like extra horrifying because you're not like expecting it. <laughs> or, you know, like, probably the best like alternative I've ever seen in any fiction ever. Of like, just, oh yeah, this is like an intimidation threat. You just open the box and there's just a paper bag full of eyeballs. <laughs> it's like, oh. Man. I can say what that's from, but the best part about that scene is that, like, the person who, like, delivers it just straight up is like, oh yeah, these belong to, like, all your loved ones. Oh, and it's like, oh, that's raw. <laughs> And they imply, like, oh yeah, we have the technology to shove these back in if you cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped being like a girl a long time ago, and you're too worldly, so that leaves us with a bit of a problem. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean indeed? So you should ask your feminine friends. Yeah, okay. So quest accepted. Go talk to girl about how to girl. What about Arata? He's feminine. <laughs> he's not really feminine, but if I had to say, he seems like have a childish romantic to me. But she's not really the type. She's not even probably wouldn't care what kind of president it was, I'd say. Yeah, Nokia. Yeah, she's probably the type though person, though at least try her best, or at least that's how she seems to me. Nokia seems like a bad person to ask for a relationship for dice. Like, she seems way too eccentric for this. Maybe. We just like go up and it's like, hey Nokia, is it okay to give girls underwear? She's like, yes. <laughs> Poop dunk. Yeah, like Kawagama, of course. Mine used it all the time. <laughs> My Kawakamon used poop dunk constantly in Digimon World 2. Did it have the ability to do that? Yeah, because you just like learn moves from a champion or whatever. Oh. It's so, like all the Digimon on my team knew like effing poop toss just in case. Just in case, huh? Because <laughs> like, first off it's hilarious, second off it's strong against people who are poisoned. Ah, okay. Alright, so yeah, I guess I'll see you around. Yep. Yeah.